All right. Can everybody hear us okay? We're live. Oh, hi. Hello. All right. Can oh, <laughs> I will I turn that down. That. <laughs> is that? What yeah, is it's that? probably going to. I was just uh, checking some audio things earlier. I, I oh. turned that off. <laughs> gotcha. Awesome. We are live, and today is, what is it? Today Sunday. is. Is it se- Sunday? It is Sunday. September 20th. Sunday, September 20th. So it doesn't feel like a weekend, but nothing really does anymore. Yeah, um, um, thanks everybody for for coming and oh, yep. sharing this Sunday afternoon with us, or your Sunday evening, or your Monday morning, Monday morning. depending on what part of the globe you're from. I guess from. if you're in Australia, it's Monday morning already. Yeah. Um, People are going to work. Or... Yes. Mm-hmm. So, um... Yeah, if you were if you were in some of our old streams, you probably remember the little cute little things that pop up. I found them oh. in, in a in a folder, and I um I applied them to this new stream. Um, that and I'm kind of just calling this a new stream. Basically, oh. what we had done about ten months ago or so versus yeah, now, like last year. Yeah, yeah. So it, I just enabled them basically. So mm-hmm. yeah, they're and they're nice. Uh, I. I remember um, Jasmine was used to do more of the um, when you set that up. You used to do a little bit more of the technical stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm I'm trying my hand at it with Brandon's help, of course. Yeah, I am. So. I am not very tech savvy. Yeah, I've added a ton of uh, new photos to the the uh, slideshow. So uh, yeah, if you see your uh, if you see your photo there, just say hey, yay, that's my photo. Or you don't you don't have to, but um. Enjoy. Yes, uh, yeah. I had to. Um, I noticed what I may. I had to do with a lot of them is resize them. Oh. So uh, feel free to send them a whatever size, but I'm uh, resizing like them. I think helps to make them smaller. To, you mean or make them bigger? It, well, I I made them smaller mm-hmm. because people will send us things. You know, they're like fifty inches by seventy some inches. Oh, yeah. And so if you're not like printing it out. Right. It so what I had noticed is I noticed a few thing. of them hadn't shown up on. Uh, last stream and i think they didn't oh. show up because they're too big oh. so there might be a an issue with that so like i just there's a maximum right size or something. since they they're teeny anyway uh-huh. it does they don't need to be huge but um so as i get them in the future yeah. i'm going to resize them and it'll just be part of the process it's not a big deal i don't want people to have to worry about what size they're sending me i can easily do it in photoshop oh, good. yeah so um but yeah so you'll see a, even more i think we have a gosh i think we've received a you know, a couple oh, hundred cool. images. Oh wow! People. Wow, yeah. that's fabulous. So I haven't even posted like at Facebook or anything. Right, right. Sure. Um, but yeah, th- some of them are just—they're the coolest thing. I love them because you'll get a mix of coloring pages. Uh, right now, I see somebody wearing—they're in their wedding dress, showing off their tattoo. Oh wow! Uh, somebody just showing yeah, that their cool. products that they love from Jasmine, Aww. or uh, you know, their displays. I love how creative people are with yeah, their displays like they're showing off their pin collections end up on how people put them all on their wall and yeah, it just it's so super cool them. i i just think it's neat it's just yeah, a real, seeing that and... really cool way to show off your stuff uh i uh recently saw people i'm even like poaching <laughs> because i saw uh somebody had posted beautiful frame job of uh autographed uh dragon con key cards I was like, we got to get that up. And, oh, gotcha. Yeah, oh, that's and neat. they they sent the they sent. It. I was like, can you send that to me? Yeah, and I added that car that everybody oh, was yeah, talking about for a while. Car that was yeah, like so that's one in of there the somewhere. Fairy... <laughs> yeah, it's in there somewhere. Yeah, that's Did beautiful. Did you add that um, that big food truck van that has my mermaids on it? You know, I I didn't add that. Oh, that would no. be oh okay. That I'd, I'd have one. to find that image again. Uh, maybe you can show. I know show where it. it is. Okay, cool. Because yeah, I'd, I know I the 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 I know the food truck company is out of Miami that. Did it right so uh today is kind of a in florida's kind of a rainy day it is it's weird it looks like it's nighttime all day it's one of those yeah freaky sort of times but yeah uh, there's a, somebody took some pictures a candid shots from shows um oh. i see amber uh, in there that, my sister yeah <laughs> you know, and i'm not i'm i'm just That's letting her funny. do it I'm not asking for permission <laughs> so it should be it's random you, amber. hopefully it all works perfectly but yeah and people there's a picture of fans there for example oh, not um cool. uh fans you know the kind you cool yourself off the, with. <laughs> the, yes not like yeah gotcha. yeah and those up uh, 
uh, those fans are, gosh, have we ever, besides prizes, have we ever had them available any other way besides live events? Bamboo fans? Yeah. No, I've just had them for prizes for people, and then we've had them at live events. Usually indoor events that have a lot of people, or when it's like at the Ren Fair and it's hot outside. Gotcha. I saw one Neither that was... Neither are happening right now. Yeah. What was off? I saw one that... I saw a photo that was sideways. Oh. Um, I really tried to straighten them all. Um, I'll just go through them again. I, oh. I get so many that it, it's it's hard. But So if you see one... Like, that's when that's my bad. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is about pictures that now you can't... They, they remember how they were when you took them on your phone. So they always turn sideways even after you turn them sideways. Yeah, but I swear I've been through... I've, I've it's, like... It's a I raked my battle. fingers yeah. through that twice. Yeah. So I, I don't know. It's a, I think it's the same picture. Oh, of, well, at any rate, Tigger. if you yeah. see your pictures sideways, don't take it personally. <laughs> now, I'll sort it. Soon. Yeah. So it, it, yeah, it should be. A, I'm seeing some of the same ones repeat. Hopefully it's just, yeah, now I'm seeing new ones. So. Oh, good. Who knows? <laughs> it's something I have little to no, no control over. <laughs> yeah, after, it's, it's, yeah. Uh, when things are allegedly random, sometimes they're actually oh, random. There, I, I just, Jasmine, if you can look up. What? The, the, oh, I'm watching it live. Oh yeah, I uh, kinda, yeah. You, I just you have probably, a monitor you, in here that's like yeah. Over the, there. I just saw the one, um, the the autographed uh, key cards. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up. Oh, I, um, okay. I've just put a lot of uh, work into it. Oh, so. can I can I, I talk real quick about what I'm working on? Absolutely, think I'll it's shut a, up. A new yeah. original or anything. This is um what I'm working on here is one of my hand embellished canvas jaclays, one of the masterpiece limited editions. So this is when the original painting was already sold. So and then we do five of the hand embellished ones where I go in and paint little details. So this is one that somebody just bought like this couple a day or two ago. So I'm painting up the details now and getting ready to sign it and ship it off to whoever won it or purchased it. I guess it would be a purchase. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody in the room asked, uh, where, where is the other painting from last week? Hyacinth Blue. Oh, Hyacinth Blue is on my other easel. I'll bring her over after a little bit. I'll probably just be a few minutes on this one and I'll show off Hyacinth Blue, but mostly today I'm going to be working on another new painting called um, Darling Dragonling 6, which has kind of a funny story behind it, and I'll, I'll talk about that when I start on her. But I'll finish up on this one after a few minutes of doing some hand embellishment signing. What number was this one, Maddie? This is number three. I, I had a little paper three. printed out for you. Did, yeah, did you I'm sure you it? did, but it's probably at my other uh, easel or something. Okay, I apologize. Oh, that's okay. It's it's number three out of five. Number three, no personalization. <laughs> number three out of five, no personalization. All right. <laughs> so yeah, that's the, I'm when I'm things are numbered, pictures. they're actually numbered. I'm if it's out of five, that means that we have made five of these that I have gone through and painted little details on. And she has the cutest hair ever. She has pretty great hair. I remember yeah. that series uh, when we had brought them to Corey Helford. Yeah. And I just kept looking at their hair. They have very cute. And I was like, oh, hair. that's the cutest little hair. Yeah. So her and her, her sisters. And she had, yeah, she has two sisters that are, kind of go with her. We have prints. I don't, are, is that, was that the last one of the, these masterpieces or is there two left? Because there are that? two left. There are two left. Okay. Well, if, I mean, if, if somebody bought them up real quick, if uh -huh. unless the uh, the website did its job and said no more left, <laughs> um, they get four and five. But yeah. often we put, uh, you put the number five. Up for on eBay, yeah, not usually, always. Not but, always. Sometimes, yeah. like two people will buy it at the same time, and it's like, oh, okay, I guess I can't action like auction them. But how many easels does Jasmine have in this house, Angela? I mean, I guess in she could answer that. In this specific house, I have this this drafting table, which is what you usually see me on here. Then I have a very very large easel about ten feet from here in my studio. I haven't shown that one really, but we are going to have set up a camera for that. That's when I work on my bigger paintings. Then I have um. Off to my right, I have a travel easel that actually rolls around, and then I have a tabletop easel also. So I guess four easels here, and I have a travel, uh, actually I have a travel travel one too. Then in Kansas City, I have a big drafting table in that studio and two smaller easels. One is at the Kansas City Renaissance Festival, and in London, I just have one main tabletop easel. And that's all my easels, I think. Oh, I also have that little gorilla one that goes in a backpack. Yeah, I love that one. You have a, you have a yeah. few of the little ones. The, some, the of little are, ones. some of them are some of them are some of them you just kind of wear yeah. out. 
After yeah, a while. I know. Well, sometimes if it's ones that I've used outside and like shoved it in the dirt and put it up at run fairs and. Marty says he has a travel electric guitar. Really? Is it is it one of the ones that's just like the strings on a um on a stick? I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, the new cool things. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, gosh, those are I don't cool. know. Those uh, like Marty you can is travel with those anywhere. Yeah. What you got? Show us what you got, Marty. Show us what you got. <laughs> Uh, we do have uh, raffles today. Oh, yeah. And um, anybody that's new to the room, it's just a normal one, says Marty. Oh, uh, gotcha. Anybody that's new to the room, you, uh, if, you want to, if you want to win the raffle, uh, or enter the raffle, rather, you type in exclamation raffle. And it's important that you follow uh, the room, otherwise you won't win. Follow the room? Like, oh, like follow me. Right. Follow only me followers, up here at Only Twitch. followers of the of Jasmine's the Twitch. Twitch channel. Okay. Which is free, price. just the little it's absolutely free. Heart it's just thing. a click. Just, just click that, and that makes it so you are a valid follower. Will there be another Oracle deck? Gosh, you'll probably just keep doing them forever. I oh yeah, imagine. probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have you have any currently that are? In uh, I'm trying to think. The Alice one is the one that just came out most recently, and um, we are talking about doing another one. I don't. We had a few ideas, and I don't know which one would be next. We thought about doing one that's just like a Strangeling Oracle that is just about um, some of the illustrations that have been in my books. And then I, um, Lucy Cavendish wanted to do another one also. And we thought about maybe doing a follow-up to Oracle of Shadows and Light. So we'll see. <laughs> it's, it's a weird time to try to get new projects like that started. And I do have a couple other things I have to finish before I do something big like that. But yeah, I, I would say big definite yes on that. I think we'll probably be working on the next new coloring book, I think, before the next new Oracle deck. But I'm not sure. It's the same publisher, so they kind of spread them out a bit. Yes. Just like peanut butter. Speaking of peanut butter, I I realize that <laughs> I, I love so it too much. Segueing. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you do love peanut butter a lot, man. Is that a bell I hear? Oh, that was Kitty. Yeah, oh, April. Yeah. Um, Who was it? I think it was Sunshine. All of our cats have little balls, so we can uh, hear them when they're. Oh running. wait, it could have been Rio. I see Rio looking at me. Now she's licking her lips. That means she wants treats. Oh, I bet she. You does. get treats later. Yeah, it's Rio. Back kitty. So I'll show you a little bit about um, what I'm doing here. I've you can see where I've signed my name and paint, and also put the date. Well, the year twenty um, for twenty twenty. And number three out of five, because I've made two of these already, number one and number two, and this is number three. This is um, the smallest one we do of these sizes of the Masterpiece Editions, so they go all the way up to like 48-inch big ones. And these are super cute. They come ready to hang. You can see it's wrapped on wooden boards on the back. I go in and I write all the details about the limited edition and everything in there too. It's pretty awesome. But in the meantime, I'm still painting. I use the same paints I do in my original paintings when I do the hand embellishments. Jasmine. So when I'm painting little hairs and things on there, I'm, it's the same as when I painted her to begin with. Makes each one a little bit different too. Like if you line all five of them up, they say that one's a little bit different than that one. That one's a little bit different than that one. Uh, Angela asks, what deck is both of your favorites? I think she's asking what my like favorite mine deck and, is and, what and yours. yours. I, mine is Beautiful Creatures Tarot. Oh, the tarot deck. Yeah, mm -hmm. with the shipper published. So I guess it's that's, not an oracle that, deck. That one's actually a tarot deck. It's yeah, a little, um, yeah it's, um, it's a nice one. I'm trying to think which one's my favorite. That is a nice one. I, I think like that, one. that one's got way more cards too, since it's a tarot deck and it's got bonus cards, so it's like maybe that's why eighty like cards it. as opposed to the oracle decks, which usually have like forty-five. Um, I, I like the vampire deck a lot, uh, and I I think some people were not turned off by it, but they were like, "Oh, it's going to be all dark and scary." But Lucy did such a good job of 
making it a very balanced deck when she came up totally. with the Totally. It's for almost the like it's her job to do that or something. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's almost like she's famous yeah. for it or no, something. No, she, she's fantastic. And yeah. she, she works with a lot of people. She does. She so works that, with, that must yeah, be a pain. Yeah. Well, I, if it is, she doesn't show it because she I does mean, a marvelous job. But I like the vampire with deck too long. Yeah, I'd as far as the my... paintings that are in that's probably my favorite. That was uh, the, one they struggled with. Yeah. Uh, I think Lucy struggled with because looking at the vampire as a... It, they she's think trying each to, one's going to have negative energy yeah, in it or something, you know. Yeah, she really struggled with uh-huh. it. Um, but I remember that she saw them as as wise old things. Yeah, vampires. and if you look at it as, hey, these are people that have seen generations pass and right, empires could, fall and Advice they could and, give to mortals, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of, I, that was a good way to look at it. Well, that's kind of the approach they take in, like, the more fairy sort of decks that have hey advice from fairies or mermaids because you could think of that as being something that has lived a very very long time nintendo guy says i like a redwood deck ha ha i like yellow wood a treat yellow wood is uh, just because it says because i like because of those billboards no the Um, vampire is um go ahead what was it i was just reading a comment but we're on oracle decks for some reason today hey you know if you stick around for our three at the very end of our broadcast uh-huh. um you will get uh you will get the chance to win an oracle deck oh yeah hey oh yeah we didn't talk about what the prizes were at all did we yeah no we didn't <laughs> <laughs> you, you okay. have the you have the pin over there right um i don't know maybe i got some pins over here mm-hmm. oh i dropped my brush are you coming to help me Eddie? i was just helping you look okay. oh here uh, here is this is the exclusive, but we we'll also oh. have some neat info for you. Yeah, there. yeah, but where's the um, September pin? <gasps> Did one of the cats get it? One of the cats get it? No, it's probably, it's probably sunshine. Well, oh, shoot. Is it upside down over by my my was, office computer? That's what it was last time. Um, <sighs> Do, 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 Did you wear do, it? Do. No. Well, you think I have that? Also, right I haven't you? gone anywhere for like a year. So. Um, hmm. It's around here. Well, um, <laughs> we have a really cool pen, I, and I, I, Matt can find it. We'll <laughs> mail it to you. Um, but the did you show it the or show the mistake there? Oops. Oh, well. oh, here it is. Oh, silly. It's under the painting. Okay. There you go, silly. Okay. Oh, silly. Okay, here it is. So our current pin of the month being September um, is... That's a good pin. It is. It's Pastel Milagros Corazon, which is from my Dear Demarto series. She's on the little heart with little Milagros charms on it. That will be Just prize number two. Makeup. And that, that yeah. will be the second prize? Okay. That will be the second prize of the evening. We do it once every hour on the hour approximately. And the first prize is the Scarecrow, because it is getting to be that time of year, isn't it? Yes, because you don't watch chat, really, Jasmine, and you don't know. uh, The little bot constantly reminds people what the prize currently is. Oh, really? And how to enter. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's helpful. Yeah. But here's, and then the, the next, the first prize, the first thing we're doing is the Scarecrow print and i will autograph it for you and it is currently our print of the month so if or print of the week so if you don't win her here you can purchase her up at strangeling.com on sale for 11.99 and i signed the backs of those and mailed them to you anywhere in the world also yay thank you zadie oh what was the magic noise follow oh thank you for following me up here i think i can change the magic uh-huh. noise and then the last prize of the evening will be um when we sign off about two and a half, three hours from now, and that's the that mighty prize wheel. wheel. I, I will show you guys what it looks like. Remember, this is just, uh, it, I just think it's cool. So, it, it this is theoretical. Nobody's actually going to win this prize, but no. potentially yeah. you would have won. Oh, thank you, uh, uh, Kitty Avicious. A port, a portrait pin set too. Ooh, so, any of you guys that missed out on that uh, <laughs> wackiness. <laughs> <laughs> oh pin sets oh, i pin love sets. them i love them we in all my, love them. And yeah they're they're hey we've they're got a great. new pin set though and my, probably my favorite one that i've done so far in the 
works now. I'll, I haven't shown it off to anybody, so keep an eye out. Probably in the next week or so, I'll show off what it's going to look like. And then once we get them and they're all finished and put them together, uh, I'll let you Patreon people know first what time and date it will go live for the pin set. Because as we all know, they do sell out very quickly. And I want to make sure my Patreon people can get in there and get their monitor set up or whatever you got to do ahead of time. So Polar Oros says uh they call you aunt jasmine well, i don't that? know who they are <laughs> oh i do have a lot of nieces and nephews oh it's ruthie oh ruthie oh R R R go by i i go by abigail now oh abigail oh yeah oh, okay. oh for heaven's sake haven't seen you forever happy to see you up here at twitch yes for heaven's sake I, it's funny i've seen a handful of nieces and nephews up here and I, I never know who it is at first because everybody's got different names online, etc. Because let me think, I've seen on pretty much all sides of the family now. <laughs> I've seen somebody up here. So. They're, the cool, they're the cool people in the family. Yeah. That generation. Yeah, I was going to say, not everybody. Some of I my totally family, I think, honestly no think that, too. I totally think that, too. What's that, baby? I totally honestly think that, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do, too. Yep. Aw, we miss you, too. My gosh, yes. Can't even, we didn't even get anything resembling cousin camp this year. No. Bah. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, I think I might have had a question. Oh. Well, um, hang out with us, uh, Abigail. Sure. Oh, hello. Well, like I wouldn't expect too. to see you live. I'm Australian. Oh, it's oh. Kitty Vicious, uh, who just hey. uh But um, I own like a billion of your coloring books. Oh. Thank and you. you have been a massive inspiration toward me going to art school. Oh, fabulous. Very oh, cool. Wow. That's Very so cool. cool. It, it's funny you mentioned that. The publishers we're talking about who do the coloring books are actually out of Australia. That's like my main publishers for some reason are in Australia. I need one of these years. I need to get out there because I have a lot of friends who and family or who live out there and people who have known me from publishing and we, stuff. We, and um, we have our, our, pu our, our publishing friends. friends would probably help us out. To some degree, yeah, like I as know. far as maybe some sort of, we, we could like be Lucy pretty does, limited. Lucy, I know, goes to like the, um, is it the Mind, Body, Spirit ones? The big conventions they do there. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, Kidia, do you know? Or is it Kisha? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know about w w um, what is big, a cool event to attend? Yeah, there's one big event that's like, it's kind of like a psychic stuff event. Yeah. But it's, um, is it one of the, bi one like of the big stuff. cities there? Yeah, I can't remember where it is, but I know that the publishers sometimes go there, and I think Lucy goes there and does like can, um, panels or talks or what else. Yeah, uh, gosh, I, I, I mean, we've certainly been invited there enough. Yeah, I know. It would be really nice to get you know two first class tickets. <laughs> yeah, Just that's saying. the thing. It, it's I like Australia, but Kitty. it's all the way down okay. in Australia. <laughs> yeah, Supernova. Which is a pop culture event. Oh, okay. That, that's, that's, that's yeah, like that, a that Comic Con can, type. We do thing, we do yeah. really well at pop culture events. Yeah. Um, we do, do we do um we do I mean fantastic at the smaller niche. Uh, what I'm trying to think of a good kind of a new age event like lifestyle event. Yeah, they they just don't seem as wacky and huge. No, as, well, as, as a pop culture, we do our ones that are um we're there in a professional capacity like we're there uh, to wholesalers or like to publishers or something yeah that's a lot of fun yeah. i would i would say that those events that are not as big and glitzy and glamoury are often more fun i would too um, i would agree for with me that. yeah personally when events get bigger they get more and more i mean i don't want to sound like oh it's corporate or whatever but they get slicker and more more the same everyone you go to one i feel um, like i have a store the other one i feel like i have a little shop yeah, I like feeling like <laughs> does a that, Does that shop. make sense? Yeah. I think yeah, that... no, I know what you mean. Sometimes it feels more like it's a gathering of a bunch of artisans, and sometimes it feels like a strip mall, and you're just renting a spot, you know? Yeah, of course, I, I was, will say after you started introducing uh, pins or badges, as I say in the UK, it kind of got a little bit more wacky. Oh. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you that's know. Okay. That's okay. Oh, Jasmine, if you, if you ducked this. your yeah. head just oh. so, uh -huh. it would merge into the into the background below the background below? <laughs> oh wait like on, on the other camera no on the, on the background on the on the obs screen oh 
<laughs> you don't know what I'm. No, I don't. Know I'm what just you're messing with about. you. But, oh, it's okay. like you see how there's two. There's an eye peeking underneath your your uh, face camera. What? An eye an eye peeking under it. Yeah, oh, from the background. Yeah, like, on you the can, website if you, or if, if you oh. like lowered your head in just such a way, mm-hmm. you could like make your face match with them. <laughs> like that? Is that working? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think if we lined it, it, would, it could, yeah, that could be really funny. Like that's confusing. Yeah, if, if, okay. it's because my being pinkies weird. look like me. That's funny. <laughs> that one does at least. Uh, oh. I gotta have my fun. Yeah. yeah let's so today, to Jasmine, is a very time. special day. How is it? Not not as special for us, probably. Oh. But it's special nonetheless. It's a National Pepperoni Pizza Day. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, we're veg- well, we can have vegetarian pepperoni. Yeah, but I just don't <laughs> see it all that much. I you, remember you literally bought some fig pepperoni or whatever that stuff is that's figs. It, that's all yeah, it, it's that stuff. Is yeah, good. it doesn't taste like pepperoni, but it's no. oh. it's good. I enjoy it. Oh. Um, yeah, well, it's I a had, um, that's a, one company that makes the really it makes oh, like Oh, I think good I pepperoni. see sunshine. Oh, do you? Yep. Get her. Sunshine, come here. Don't get on top of the refrigerator. Oh, Shaisa. Come here. Come here, sweet. Oh. Oh. Oh, I hear her jingling. Yeah, have you ever heard that jingling noise? That's their little call. Oh, oh, she does. She is. She okay. doesn't want to be oh, on the oh, TV. Oh, she's pulling threads out of this shirt. It's my Glastonbury shirt. <laughs> oh, no, there she is. Oh, baby. Here's my baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you've got your Glastonbury shirt on, don't you, Maddie? Yes, I do. Here's my sunshine, my only sunshine. Oh, there you are, look. Oh, you're so pretty. Yeah, people can hear her purring. <laughs> can they hear her purring? Uh, can you guys hear her purring? Aw. I put her by the mic. Oh, you go do your homework. Oh, yeah. Your, your homework is probably more important than whatever is happening here. <laughs> My and we'll catch up. We'll figure yeah. out something. There you go, Dine. Yay, homework and I on didn't a get Sunday. any cat hair on my paint. Man, I remember leaving homework till Sunday. Like oh. Sunday, sometimes Monday morning. Monday morning. Oh. Just not at all. <laughs> But she's just about finished here, so I, now that she's, well, I'm going to write on the back of her real quick. I'll, I'll just do that on here if you guys don't mind. But um, then I'll start working on, I'll show you guys how Hyacinth Blue is turning out, and then I'll also show you the, start working on the new Dragonling painting that some of you Patreon people might have seen. Do I have one of those um, fine pens over here, babe, for the back? The, what is it? What are you looking oh, for? Oh, I found one. Oh, okay. That signed the back of the... Gotcha. Pen, the thingy. Number three. So uh, with these, these ones that we make ourselves here at home, my Masterpiece Editions, I don't make a separate piece of paper for them. I actually write the authentication stuff on the back instead of having a certificate because that way um, it will never get separated or lost or, sep- you know, I don't know, photocopied or anything. So that way it's always written on the back. Jasmine. Yeah. How do you feel about people doing masterwork studies of your art? Um, for If it's for school, yeah, that's fine. Um, as long as you don't try to sell it or make money off of it or put it online and say you did it. If you're doing it for school, absolutely, that's fine. There you go. Yeah. That's number three out of five. And this one is um, Resurrected Velociraptor is the title, right, Manny? Uh, I believe so. Is it Resurrected or Resurrection? Resurrected. Resurrected, okay. I'm pretty sure. If not, they're getting a special one. <laughs> yeah. So I always write the title on the back. Resurrected Velociraptor. Which is a type of dinosaur. I could see that so clearly. The, oh, can you? Again, that, yeah, that camera, oh, I can see it very clearly. Yeah, I think it's like, well, I didn't do much writing or drawing on the old one because it, the um, 
old video camera we had that was on the easel was it would just kind of look like a blurry gray mess sometimes yeah totally would i was asking because i wanted to do some practice with oils oh, based sure. on an oracle card draw Oh, so sure. thank you for answering. Yeah, absolutely. If you're just doing it yourself at home, you're not like putting online to print out or sell to people or anything like that. That that's absolutely fine. Getting up your skills. Yeah. Do we need to be here to win? Have homework to do also. I don't think oh. you need to be here to win. Um, but you you're only entered for the first raffle, or the the you've only you're only entered for the most current raffle that you've entered. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. So, like each yeah. hour, you're right. Entered so into that one next for hour, that you're not hour. you're not automatically entered to into the next raffle. So, that like right now, that was the old lazy big the developing <laughs> way. <laughs> okay. So, like right now, people would be entering for the print, and then the next hour would be for the pin, and then the next hour is for the prize wheel. Yep. Okay. And you just enter each hour. You can always just check in each hour. <laughs> you can. Have, have your younger sibling look at it for you. You are very welcome. feel bad that I'm taking all these people away from their homework. I mean, I, I don't really feel bad. But. Oh, uh, Jasmine, mm -hmm. did I tell you that I got, uh, I got, uh, we were talking about Breath of the Wild last week, uh, Zelda. Oh, uh -huh. I got the motorcycle. Yes. Yeah. I remember I saw that when you were playing um, Super uh, Mario Super Mario Kart, the one that's on yeah, the Switch. That, yeah. And it, I was like, why does Link have a motorcycle? And I guess it's in the actual game for Breath of the Wild. That is so cool. Oh, Kid Kidia says, oof, that is a hard quest. Uh, yeah, it. I took, what I did is I took photos of each of the little pillars. <laughs> uh -huh. Um. Yeah, so when you get the quest, the, the, the for those of you who know what the game is, there are four heroes that are kind of like spirits that give Link powers in the game. And you go and kind of relive their trials, and these pillars pop up, and then you, uh, then you have to go to each of the locations. And you can take pictures with your, basically Link kind of has a funny little in-game iPhone called a Sheikah Slate. And uh, go to those locations, and that they're uh, it's they're just really bizarre quests. And apparently, this was part of the DLC pack, which to some, if they got the game in 2017, was very new and cool and neat. To me, it's all new and cool and neat. So I'm a little bit behind. Lovely. Do you want me to? Can I grab that? Yeah, if you can okay. grab it from now, me. Now, what what will happen from here is, um, uh, I think Jasmine said earlier, I'll put a hanger on it. Yeah, Matt and I will ship it out to the customer. Take it up in the workshop. He will put the um, wire hanger on the back, so that way, when the person, the customer, it's already told, they hang it up on the wall. They just need to have a nail or a ha picture hanger on the wall, and you can hang it up with the wire. Oh, uh, pretty nifty. So Abigail says uh, oh. they can multitask and watch, and oh. no problem. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. All righty. Well, why doesn't Ellie come and watch? Yeah, Ellie. Yeah, did Ellie and Theo ever pop in here, or do they? Are uh, they not? I are they not allowed on Twitch? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, a good, I, I don't know if I'm a good auntie. I think if Theo got in here, he'd probably start watching people play video games. Yeah, Theo is a video game sort of guy. Um. Hey, I did watch um, my nephew on his broadcast, um, my nephew Fox, playing his violin the other day on Zoom. It's the first time I actually saw or used Zoom before. Oh, hey, I was going to show you guys um, Hyacinth Blue real quick, just so you can I'm see. I'm not a fan of Zoom. I'd never seen Zoom before. We didn't have it so they could see us, though. It just showed them. Yeah, I, I, I'm just not a fan of Zoom. Oh, okay. Woohoo, Tammy. I like your jasmine rose. I'll show off mine too. Your what? Bom, bom, bom. It's a cute little sticker. Oh. That awesome people get. Oh, cool. Oh, like in the in the room, like in the chat mm -hmm. room? Gotcha. Cool. Okay. Well, here is Hyacinth Blue as she is now. Some of you guys watched me this week, finally. <laughs> we got the um, Patreon paint cam working. What was that? Thursday? 
Uh, yeah, uh, we had some problems Thursday? on it. With, yeah, um, but when we actually Monday, handed up, was it on Thursday? Uh, or yeah, was that... and I think we, oh, um, you said Tuesday at 1? Oh, yeah, I'll be back there to, this Tuesday at 1. Right, so. Uh, um, this is the Patreon only one. And I was uh, was working on Hyacinth Blue, so um, those of you who saw her last weekend on Twitch probably looks a bit different now. So I put some color and started working on the background a bit more. Right, and that one um is not as interactive. As... Oh no, my um, Patreon paint cam is just, it's basically just the video that you would see on Twitch. And there isn't like a chat room or a, um, there's no talking, I don't talk. I'm basically just here by myself and you can just watch me what I'm working on. Right. But and, I get uh, more it, painting it, done. <laughs> yeah, you definitely, I, So it's yeah, like people it who really want to really watch fast. painting or are interested in buying the paintings, things like that. It's a good one to watch because you can just see what I'm basically doing. Mimi says she's gorgeous. Yeah, she's turning out lovely. I'll probably be working on her more this coming week, maybe um, on my Patreon paint cam. Again, that will be Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time next time. And that will just be for the Patreon people. It is only, it is a dollar or more. Right, so you if give, you want but... to, uh, if you want to watch Jasmine paint, yeah. uh, and you're thinking about doing this like a couple times a week, maybe. Yeah, yeah, during uh, the week. Yeah, so you, you join Patreon and um, it's just for Patreon people, so yep. it's like a little perk. Yeah, uh, it's it's like a it's a, one of the perks that comes with being any any level of Patreon. Yeah, if you if you just gave even a like the one dollar literally helps help an awful it's lot. The it's the last link nice. I just posted there. Is it really? <laughs> well, I, I was it because I, I was, was just because we're talking about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's not that much of a coincidence. Now. <laughs> but anyways, you can I I also do a lot more zooming in when we do the paint cam on Patreon, so that you can see a lot more small details and. I'll work on one thing for a long, longer period of time, and because there's not all this other stuff, because I'm not being distracted by questions and Maddie and stuff. Although Maddie did kind of come in and distract me. I came <laughs> in and did my little gerbil impression. Well, one time I went out to go to the bathroom and I came back and you were like sitting here in the chair. Yes. Okay. But anyways, I'm. I will get my other painting that I'll be working on today. Just and I will put this one back. Reminds me a little bit of the Yahoo camera from way back, just much better streaming quality. Oh, Actually, the streaming quality should be better this time. I think I fixed an issue. No, uh, no the Yahoo camera was um, my old one. Right. Yeah. yeah no, I, I know. Oh, okay. I know. It's Katie. I, I know oh, what you're talking yeah. oh, okay. about. Oh, okay. Katie Harmon. Oh. Not okay. uh, artist Katie. Oh, I was gonna say I know both. Of Kansas those. City Katie. I was gonna say I know both Festival of those Katie. Katies, and they're from way back in the. Late nineties. Oh so gosh. Kazumaka is making two pizzas. Holy cow. One is pepperoni is and one me? is triple cheese. One of their kids is a vegetarian. Nice. I am too. Me too. Um, I was gonna say, are are they making their pepperoni pizza because it's pepperoni pizza day or whatever? It's national pepperoni pizza day, so and they're not American. Oh. So I don't know. Are you doing it to honor all <laughs> In honor of America's you know, pizza I think it's a patriotic day. thing today to, you think so? it's to eat, eat a pepperoni pizza, and but try to get the veg, vegetarian You can, you can even pizza. get vegan pepperoni pizzas. Yeah. Baked cheese. And you could even eat a picture of one. Dude, I'm <laughs> telling you, vegan food is getting better every try, time I try it. Oh, it is. Like, they yeah. were really, I, I, really I trying. I used to not be a fan of like vegan cheese, but I've really liked a lot of the ones I've had. Alicia says, today I was playing with isopods. Oh. <gasps> I've got an isopod. <laughs> That's all you have to do is say something like isopod to Jasmine. Oh, she's going for it. Be careful with it. I think I might have their link. If you want me to link their store, sweetie. Yeah. And they have fans in the room anyway. Yeah. I think sometimes Audra shows up here. I sometimes Audra's here. No, I will have to find Link. Oh I don't have Oh my god. It. I have an isopod. Look, at, he's not alive. He's he's long dead, but look at him. Look how big he is. Isn't that just amazing? Woo! And if you like that sort of if thing. You, if you like huge we have dead friends insects. Who, yeah. Yes, if you like You too can purchase one. Yes. <laughs> Check I actually didn't out. buy and this. I traded artwork for this. And you've probably seen them oh, um, at one of the, the like Megacon type shows. Not the isopods, but the people selling them. The people or the nice uh, uh, pop, maybe an well, isopod. Um, you can say uh, roly poly bugs, sow bugs, pill bugs. Those are isopods. 
Yes. They're not all giant ice. That's probably what Alicia was talking about. Probably. Mine was a whole life a live whole tank. What are you on that game show or something? <laughs> but is, is there a game show where you go into a, There's, a tank full of isopods? Well, what was it? Like Fear Factor? I have never seen I don't know. They make. I like yeah, animal I skulls. I make jewelry from bird skulls. Ooh, there's a night. There's a cool uh, museum here too in town there. that you'd like, Kaza. I've seen horror movies that kind of start like this. Where you have giant. How do they end? Giant isopods. I, I don't tremors. I mean, I'm trying to think of tremors. Is, those are aren't bugs. No, but I was trying to think of what kind of starts like this. Uh. uh Sort of buggy movies. The Mist. We talked about that last week. Bugs Life. Huh. Bugs Life. Yeah. Oh, everybody. Jasmine saw... I showed Jasmine two movies. Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, but I think I want to be part of this discussion. Okay. Then we are going to put okay. a little commercial on. It's Just not a commercial. movie commercial thing, but... Okay. I'm going to pop this on, and um, you guys... Uh, and I'm going to run to the bathroom. Go grab right a soda, back. too, or... Aquarium Encounters. And That's then... cute. All right. Um, we will see. I went to Sea Aquarium. Oh, fun. Aquarium Encounters. At Sea Aquarium. Oh, I thought you were talking about like Aquarium Encounters of the Third Kind or something. All right. Anyway, fun. I'll shut up. <laughs> okay. And uh, we'll see you shortly. <laughs>
All right, we're, so back. we're back. Yay! We've got about uh, eight minutes till the raffle. Oh, wow. That went fast. Okay. Is your camera still good? Or Um, no. Is, it's is it not, not live? Going? Eh. I'll do this thing. Every now and then, guys, the, the, <laughs> the awesome camera that has more detail freezes. I don't know why. But that's one of the reasons I'm here. Yeah. To unfreeze this thing. To unfreeze my camera for me. <laughs> oh, I guess I can still paint either way. And hopefully it'll work perfectly. Mm -hmm. I'll pop it in and then pop it back. There we go. And now I have a monitor now, so I can kind of... There we At go. Let's see if there's movement on it. Cool. The new painting looks like it's on a thicker piece of wood. It is. Yeah. I was just going to start Cradled talking masonite. about it. Cradled masonite. Yes, this is actually one that is on cradled masonite. Oops, I lost a brush. This is super thick. It's actually two inches thick. The panel it's on is, is not actually any thicker than the masonite panels that you buy at... Um, Home Depot or like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or whatever, but it's been cradled with birch wood, which is a light type of wood that's two inches thick around the edges. And I've, I've painted the sides black. I'm going to have to paint it again because it's messy because I've been painting light colors on top of it. But I like that way if, um, if the person who buys it or the gallery or whatever, if they hang it up, and they don't have a frame for it, they can just hang it up on the wall. We'll put a wire on it, kind of like we do with the um, canvas prints. Right, any of those uh, uh, you who have like a Faces of Fairy, for example, yeah. that's, that's an original painting, Yeah, you, you know this style. Yeah, a lot of, this one's is a big, it's basically a larger version kind of of like a Faces of Fairy, but it's a rectangle. This is an eight by 10. So um, it is part of a series I started many years ago and I actually started this exact painting, um, I don't know how many, a couple years ago, you think, Maddie? I don't even remember Ooh, when I started right, uh, it. Probably I know 2012? It was, 20, no, 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 no. It would have been, it was like 2017 or something. I'm talking about this specific painting. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking not, about Darling Dragonlings. No, oh. this painting. Oh. No, this painting was one that, no, the series, yeah, the series has been like 10 years, maybe longer. But the, um, the specific painting was one I started at the Kansas City Renaissance Festival because I remember I finished up whatever one I had been working on there. And I was like, oh no, I need to make something else because I'm supposed to have people come at two and watch me paint or whatever at my little shop. So I started on a brand new one, drew out the girl, drew out the dragon, and packed her up like in plastic and shipped her to my studio here in Florida. And then a couple of years later, I find her and she's just wrapped up in bubble wrap. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got a partially done painting. Why don't I do something with this? So since I've been doing um, the paint cam streamings for my Patreon patrons during the weekdays, and I'd like to work on different paintings sometimes also, I'm going to do that on Twitch. So I might be working on one painting on Twitch and a different painting on the Patreon paint cam thingy on Crowdcast. But either way, I'll keep y'all posted on it and show works in progress here on Twitch and on Patreon, on Instagram. Matt's going to be taking over my um, mailing list, so we'll be reinstating that to those of you who didn't like the email mailing list. Hopefully doing that within the next week or so. Yeah, Maddie? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, since this is on a thicker piece of wood, it's kind of difficult to, for me at least, I, get, I bruise really easy. You can probably see on my wrists and everything. When I lean on like a table or something, I get bruises. So I like to have something to rest my arm on if I'm working on a piece of thick masonite. What I do is use another piece of cradled masonite. This one is actually I think, yeah, it's the same exact size and thickness as this one I'm working on, but this one came damaged. I think it's like one of the corners was busted off of it. <laughs> Is so, it the right height, Jasmine? It, it's the exact same height. It's the same sort of panel from Dick Blake. Oh my god. And it's a damaged one. I got like, it's got a layer of probably a quarter inch thick of plastic acrylic paint on it. But, um, Do you ever chew from, on it? What's that? You ever chew on it? 
Like on the side one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Jasmine. Uh, what? Jasmine. What? Oh. I was showing people to... Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Okay, anyways, it is exactly... You know how for a while when I'd order uh, cradled masonite from Dick Blick, they'd come in the corners would be crushed like every time? Yes, so I this, do. I kept yeah. I kept some of them, and um, that's what I use them for. Is I, so I'll, this way I can rest my arm on it, and I can work on this thick piece of wood, and they're both exactly two inches thick. Isn't that handy, Maddie? Yeah. So that's if it looks like there's a really messy painting here, it's not a messy painting. It's It looks much like the surface of my desk, really. It's yes. all there for me to rest my paint arm on uh -huh. so okay. we have about two minutes to oh, raffle okay i've got a little uh the... timer that'll go off in the room okay and we have this one is for the scarecrow the raffle in two minutes or whatever and this is a cute painting this is a nice autumny one it's got the farm kind of looks out like out by where my dad lives in missouri or kansas got my kitty azrael i might paint this one yeah, well, this one is from 11 years ago. Hmm. Can't believe that. Yes. No, no. I mean, maybe? <laughs> I don't know if I do either. <laughs> That's when the copyright is on it. <laughs> I might have actually turned it over. What the <laughs> heck was that? Well, how do I get in Are on the raffle? You better hurry. Exclamation raffle. Yeah, in the chat room, type exclamation. Point raffle, like the stream, like this Streamlabs message just said, like yeah, two, exclamation point raffle. But two messages you above you. Exclamation raffle. You have to be somebody who's following me. You can no longer enter the raffle. It's <gasps> over. Well, don't worry. Get don't in worry, the next one, Gothic. Another don't worry. There's will another start one in like, soon. Like one minute, one and a half minutes. Another one. Starts, All right. So. so I will. But it won't be for this one. I'm gonna pick the winner. A Kester. All right. Yay. You Congratulations. Won. You have won a print, and I will sign it for you, and Maddie will mail it to you. Okay, let me set up the other raffle, and then I'll put that message. And the other raffle one is for the um, Pastel um, Milagros Corazon enamel yes. pen. Do, 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 do. As all right. with all my pins, it has a little copyright Jasmine Beckett Griffith on the back, stamped in the actual metal, and it has two posts with lockable backs, so you don't lose it. All yeah, you you, you probably won't metal. lose the darn thing, you I'll won't. tell you that. Yes, I, that is why you can put different backs on them if you want. They cost less than a penny. You can buy a million of them on Amazon. But I put the locking backs on them because that way you won't lose it. If you want to lose it, you can, but... Lock and roll. Yes. No. Jasmine's all about the lock and roll. <sighs> no. <laughs> anyway, so this is Darling Dragonling 6. All right, I'm A. Kester, I have put your instructions here. in the room. Also, if you could do me a favor and just like, hey, I won the print. Because sometimes I have to like, oh, which one did they win? Oh, okay, I have to go back and look because I'm lazy. You're lazy or are you insinuating people in the room are lazy no i'm uh, but, uh, hey what Bo both oh we're all lazy we're all this lazy. is supposed to be about fun it's not supposed to be about work so but it's my job <laughs> it just makes it easier for me so okay if you want to think about me mm -hmm. that'll work so yay a kester happy you won and everybody join this raffle now as yeah. jasmine said it's the pin uh, yeah this next raffle will be for the pin and we'll put her we'll put her on one of the little backing board things and i'll sign i'll sign the little backing board for you too backing boards we have a lot of backing boards here at our we house do we, I, I i have too many backing boards in my we, life yeah i was gonna say you spend a lot of money on backing boards get a lot of backing boards in the mail sometimes i think Shipboard. i'm becoming a backing board slowly I think that process may have already begun. What was that one for? <laughs> uh, the process has already begun. Oh. Yes, good, good job, Father Ted. <laughs> good job, Dougal. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I 
the laugh track. Yeah, you know, awful. I because I like to laugh. All right, so it looks like tons of people are joining. Let me see how many people. Are awesome. Already joining that. That's for that pen. There's already I can't tell how many people. Oh, already 59, 60, 61 people have joined. Holy cow! Or uh, joined the raffle rather. Wow. Woohoo! Thank you, joiners. Always good to be a follower. <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> Just because I think it's funny, what kind of paint does Jasmine use? Okay. Maddie, what sort of paint do I use? I use golden fluid acrylic. Yes, Jasmine wow. uses golden, golden fluid, fluid acrylics. acrylics. Yes, I mostly, unless sometimes if I'm traveling or something or if I run out of a color and they're out at the store or whatever, I'll buy a different brand. But those are my favorite ones, and I mix them with water. I like them to be runny and... Kind of let them dry in between layers. <laughs> Gothic Poison just said, I asked that on a Facebook post. That is a frequently asked question for Jasmine. It so is. we decided it was so commonly asked that we'd make a, a cool little <laughs> funny thing pop yes. up. Yes. Those are actually my paints. Matt took a picture of my paints. Yeah, it's got that cute them. little tear. Yeah. And uh, Brandon covered them with clouds and a rainbow. Aww. As if, as if they're heaven sent. Yeah. What was that again for kicks? What kind of paint? Manny, what kind? <laughs> Jeez, okay. Golden food. You know, they really need to sponsor me. I should tell them. Totally. No, it would be weird if I told them that. Everybody else should tell them. Maddie should tell them that. I should just go up to him with my little box and yeah. press the button and say, See, sir? See, look. look we're, we're my wife uses these. Yeah. She sells things on the internet. I'm an influencer. She influenced something. She's an influenza. It's always good to be is easily influenced. Yes. So, uh, Jasmine, did you want to talk about those movies you saw? I think you do. <laughs> yes, I would be happy oh, to. Oh, well... Jasmine, Jasmine, I don't know if she prides herself on it or just like acts like she doesn't know or or is truly ignorant of the 80s and its pop culture. Um, two movies. All of the above. <laughs> uh, two movies that I show Jasmine uh, that you. I have you not might seen be, them. Do you varnish them when you're finished? Yes. 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 Actually, go ahead and go into that, Jasmine. I don't want to. I don't want to mess up any I art did questions. A I did a YouTube that was all about varnishing too. Um, yeah, I varnish mine with, uh, doo -doo -doo. usually, unless it's something weird, like it's going to go outside or something, um, Liquitex Professional Gloss Varnish, and I do a whole bunch of layers with very, very thin layers, and I put it on with an auto detailing rag that I soak in water. And then I do a hair dryer, and then I do another layer, a hair dryer, and I just keep going until everything looks shiny and I don't see too much impasto. So yeah, I'll, that way they're all varnished. That way too, if they get scratched, which has happened before, like I remember, I forget if it was a fire or something horrible happened to somebody's painting, they sent it back and I repaired it, and I was able to remove a bunch of the varnish and just put the varnish on it again, and the painting, the paint itself wasn't even hurt. It was pretty amazing. So that's another good reason to varnish it, and it'll offer some like UV protection and make it all shiny. They have um, what is it? There is gloss and a matte finish, and I think they have a satin finish too. That's like or semi-gloss that's like half glossy, half matte finish. All Perfect. Thank you. Work. My work gets scratched too, oil yeah. or acrylic, especially if it's matte. Gotcha. Yeah. So, no it, jokes in the room, please. Yeah. Yeah, that when you brought up your name, hon. Ah. So, yes. um, I showed Jasmine two movies that she hadn't seen yet. And Matt couldn't believe I had not seen this mo these movies, but my well, family just did not watch these movies, except for Amber and Gachina did see one, but it was she, at They saw one of them. So the at first school. movie yeah. that we saw, or I saw with Jasmine, was The Flight of the Navigator. Flight of the Navigator. And um, there was one fact that I was wrong 
about and Flight of the Navigator. So uh, I had told Jasmine that the I thought the voice of the craft was uh, Pee Wee oh, Herman. That wasn't even the fact I was thinking you were going to say. I don't know the other fact. You thought it was about a writer? No, no uh, Flight of the Navigator? Oh, wait, no. I'm thinking of the other movie. Yeah. That was a different fact. Sorry. I, I just couldn't remember. It oh, didn't okay. matter. Sorry, sorry, never mind. Okay. Uh, okay. But yeah, I, <laughs> Shaylee says, I like that movie. Wow, what a movie. Flight of the Navigator. Yes. So Jasmine had never seen it. It is a good Florida movie. Absolutely, Cindy. Um, and a NASA movie. And I think it, I think it easily stands toe-to-toe with something like uh, E.T. I per- actually prefer it to it. Oh, I think it was better than E.T. I'd only seen E.T. once, but I think that Flight of the Navigator was better. Yeah. And, and for its time, it my gosh, the special effects were insanely good. Yeah. It yeah. has not been remastered, at least not the not the one we saw. No, the one that, if you can watch it through Disney+, Plus, has not been remastered. And I don't think they've I don't think they've ever remastered that one. I don't think I've ever I, it wasn't since I was involved with the company at all. I don't know. Angela says I've never seen it. Yeah, I I'd, I'd never seen it. I don't what it I would have been like what year was it? 86. I would have uh, been yeah. yeah, I would have been like 6 years old when it came out. I mean I didn't go to movies all that often, and that probably would have been a, maybe a more grown-up movie than my sisters and I would have been, you know, five, six, and six, or whatever. Yeah, and the second movie that Jasmine had not seen was Xanadu. <laughs> no, I would have been, like, zero. When and I, hadn't, I haven't seen it for, like, 20-plus years. Yeah. Um... And uh, Jasmine, I mistakenly, I forgot, thought the guy was a writer or something. Yeah, I knew that he had done something creative. Yes, he's a painter in it. And it talks a lot about him, like, having to paint and stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm surprised you didn't try to entice me with that. Yeah, I, I did not remember. <laughs> that apparently was unimportant to me. <laughs> so, but, um, so Jasmine, if yeah. if you could rate these movies... How how would you rate them, and how do you how do you think they've aged, and what what, what comment did you have about Xanadu specifically that you thought was impressive? Um, let me think. Um, well, I can't. It's hard for me to say how they have aged because I didn't see them until I was forty. You know, <laughs> I didn't see them back when they came out. I I think Flight of the Navigator held up very well. Okay. Um, the special effects, I mean, it, you can tell they're not like how computer graphics are now, but you can see that for the time it came out, it was probably very impressive. But also, they don't rely on it a whole lot. I think they rely on other stuff more than the special effects, so that's good. It's definitely a, kind of a kid's movie, but I enjoyed it. A lot of Navigator is absolutely a kid's movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a family movie, but a kid's movie. Parts of it reminded me of the Stephen King book, The Institute, that came out not that long ago. The um, Xanadu is not my sort of movie. <laughs> I, it's um, Olivia Newton-John and um, Gene Kelly, and who else was there? Who else was there? Um, uh, 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 Sundal um, Barkman was in it. Yeah, but no. <laughs> yeah, um, I per- saw her. So, uh, so, is that Sandal Bergman? Yeah, she plays Valeria yeah, and Conan plays the Barbarian, um, who's a love interest in Conan the Barbarian, who who she, I was uh, born and raised in Kansas City. Yes, yes. And went was. to Shawnee Mission, Mission to East. Shawnee Mission East. Yeah. So for you Kansas City people in the in the room, that's act, actual claim to fame. That's um, yes. I, I, I think Valeria is super cool. So yeah. She rocks. She is actually. Um, and anyway, she is one of the muses, and I I. I Spotted it in um and um Xanadu. Yeah, she was she was a dancer before an actress, pretty much. Yeah, she was. But I remember that Dina De Laurentiis talking about her in the um. I guess it would have been for the Conan, like the director's commentary. Yeah, where Arnold and Dino talk. Yes, yeah. and Dino t- talks about her being a dancer in uh, New York before she was in that. But um, anyways, yeah, Olivia Newton-John dancing around on roller skates. Um, had a Don Bluth animated sequence. Was it Dino or John Milius? I think John Milius and he 
Who was it? I think it's John Milius and he and Arnold talk. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's Dino Delantis. No, it's probably not Dino Delantis. John Milius. Yeah, I would have recognized his voice if it was him. Or his accent, at least. Yeah. Um, John Milius, uh, I mean, Dino's all over the place <laughs> when he talks. But uh, John Milius uh, seemed seemed very Coney and forward. <laughs> he knew what he was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Okay, someone said that paint cam, they think it oh, froze. Oh, is it darn it? I'll fix it. Okay. It's no biggie. Do, 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 do. Bop. And don't you love technology? Bop. Technology. Well, it's funny because when I, I, I started this, like, at least two years ago, and I don't remember at all what I was thinking as far as color scheme or anything. I don't think I did any kind of sketch or layout for it ahead of time, and I just started busting it out at the run fair, so... I see I put some orange up here, but I think that's just because I had some orange paint out and was doing a demonstration of how to mix it with water. <laughs> so I don't I don't think I necessarily wanted the background to be orange, but I can't quite remember. So, so pe- I'll, I'll people probably decide are, that oh, while I'm looking at <laughs> What's that, babe? People say they, uh, Aaron, they enjoy Xanadu. Cindy says it's enjoyable cheese. <laughs> yes, it's, I would the, say it was very cheesy. The Don Bluth segment's fantastic. It was cute, yeah. On the cartoon segment, it's wonderful. Uh, yeah, so it's she kind of never funny. said her real name. She was about to say her she, name. But it, she made it sound like it's going to start with a T. That's why I thought it might be Terp, uh, Terpicor? I, I don't know. What are the muses' names in real life? Or not real life, but like, you know. <laughs> if you Greek haven't mythology. seen Daryl, another good 80s. I've totally seen it, Cindy. Another good not. 80s kid sci-fi. I'm 99% certain Central Florida... Filmed and there is a long scene that looks like the 408. I Dar- love Darryl? that 408. Gonna I drive down Darryl. the Florida 408. Mm. Daryl. Um, it stands for. Oh, it's an acronym. Something Robot Youth Life Form is the R Y L D A. I don't know. It, some nerd in the room probably knows it. Yeah. Deoxyribonucleic acid robot. Youth life form. Um, Daryl's good. Daryl basically, uh, he has human flesh, uh-huh. but his brain is a robot. Like, is a skeleton human? Yes. So he's not like Terminator? Yes, he, he, could, okay. con- he could conceivably grow up. Oh, And be ew. like, you would not know he's a normal person except he acts like a, 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 a weird weirdo. Oh. Has she seen Explorers? I haven't seen Explorers. Explorers? CJ Miniature Arts. I don't know. Have you seen Explorers? Is it a um, movie? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Data analyzing robot youth life form. That is so forced. The <laughs> robot youth life form works like for me. I Rotor. I wish his name was real, but <laughs> data analyzing. Nah. Maybe Ethan what, what Hawk. does Rotor stand for? Ethan Hawks and Explorers? Oh. Data artificial robot youth life. Ooh, we got an argument. Which one is it? Is this one of those things that's going to be very Explorers divisive? is great. Well, I might have to check it out. Is it an 80s thing? Probably. If it's a kid's movie and it's Ethan Hawke. Uh, yes, yeah. it has Ethan Hawke and River Phoenix. Oh. I don't know it. Huh. No, 1985. No, no, no. And it was made for kids? I have no idea. Mm. Kids build a spaceship. Oh. I remember Space Camp. Remember that movie? No. Uh, I've never seen it. You might like that one. I like I like good space movies. Is it good? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. These then. are all, it's, these are all subjectively good. There's a lot of kitsch and nostalgia well, that, it, that yeah, are but involved that with work these. On people who didn't see it in the first place. No, oh, Space Camp isn't good. It's awful. Okay. A lot of these movies are. Space Camp is great, says Cindy. Okay. That's what I mean. I like to hear people's opinions. <laughs> well, just remember it's skewed. Scan- Space Camp was good. My kids loved it. See, that that's the type of review you get there. Okay. Space Balls. Yeah, we talked about that last. I, I'm you know, not I a- still have I have not watched Space Balls, but why does it come up every broadcast? I don't know. Sp- okay. it's, it's Space Balls is actually, as far as... Uh, um, as far as... Uh, Parodies of things go 
Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I just think it's one of his, not Mel his Brooks. best movies. Yeah, Mel, yeah. Mel Brooks has done better work than Spaceball. I think Spaceballs, he kind of, I, I mean, it relies on Star Wars a lot. He just, yeah. I, I think a lot of it, it it's not, did it, it's did not it that came, great. come out like, if you watch it again, it's, it's really Star not, Wars I mean, the, the comedy isn't as, as on point. Yeah. I agree. I did not like. I did not like Labyrinth. I think because I never saw it when I was younger. Says Gothic Poison. Oh. Huh. I would appreciate it just for the puppetry alone. Yeah, I, I love Labyrinth. Um, I, I was gonna say my I've showed also it to bulge. my niece and nephews, and they liked it. And they were they were younger, and they hadn't seen it. It wouldn't have been out of nostalgia. Space kind of Camp thing. has the other Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin oh. Phoenix is the other white meat. <laughs> That's simply incorrect. Bulge. What's their, their sister's name? Summer? I don't know. I don't keep track of oh. the phoenixes. I don't keep track of their rises. Mm. Mel Brooks' best bald. movie is High Anxiety. Ah, I don't know. Mel I, Brooks' best movie is Young Frankenstein. I would have to agree. I think you can prove that scientifically. It's incorrect to dislike Labyrinth. I Ooh. would also say you could prove that scientifically. I, I just think it has a lot. It has, I mean, the work put into that. Also, we know some of the people. That I know a lot of the people who put work into. Yeah. yeah. Um. It. No, I well, think it's. I it's think it's. True. I think that I would enjoy it now if I would see it again. I would. I um, wish I would pay money to unsee it just so I could see it again. Now, um, I can't remember if it was Gothic or Kidia, but one of them said that they Are saw people, Legend. Oh, people in the room. Legend. Legend. I, I think I, I would love no matter when I saw. I didn't when I'd see, see Legend it. until um, I knew you. Yeah, Legend yeah. is is phenomenal. So I think I think I saw it when I was seventeen, and I liked it, but I didn't have any nostalgia about it because I hadn't seen it as a younger kid. I had. But I thought it was good, and I, but I liked anything that was fantasy, and I liked Tim Curry a lot. So my father yeah. left me alone for four days. Uh huh. And I, I went to school as I should. Yeah, wow. And I re- and I, I recorded Legend, yeah. and I all I did was watch it over and over and over, and I cried, Aww. and I just watch it over and over. I didn't miss my dad. I was just kind of enraptured by it. Oh, it you was that's yeah. Not why it you really affected crying, me. I yeah. Um, I don't blame so you. I have I don't know if that's nostalgia, it's just like I don't therapy or something, or you have know. positive feelings about it. You have an association with it, con- yeah. a connotation of it, yeah. yeah. But then he returned, and I was like, "Eh, Dark Crystal rocks." Yeah, I love Dark Crystal. I did not see the Dark Crystal until you, you showed it to me, though. Oh, yeah. See, I, I show you things. Yeah. Well, when, yeah. You showed me Fantastic Planet. That's because Fantastic Planet is fantastic. Yeah. And it's such good music. So in about 40 minutes, we have a giveaway, <gasps> exclamation raffle to join that giveaway. And, for, um, and what will you get? Pin. This pin. Pin. We'll put it on the little backing board and I'll sign it for you. Here's the pin. Here's the pin. Here's the My pen. teacher gives us a weird assignment, a weird art assignment the other day. We have to wrap an object in fabric. Oh, like Christo? Yeah, that's Is Abigail. Is it to be like Christo? Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know what you should do? You should go to your teacher and ask them if it's meant to be inspired by Christo. And they'll think you're really Yes, clever. we were studying Christo. Oh, okay. That's, good. That, that's funny. Well, he, he passed away. Um, what was it? Just like year before last? Or last year? Uh, did they put his coffin in fabric? I don't know. Did they put him on, on top of a mountain? Call um, him... And did they did they like throw his body off and then did, did they count the Monte Cristo how, how long it took yeah. for the that's the a, coffin to hit the ground? Count the Monte love. Cristo. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying. To... Can you get into a Monte Cristo sandwich too? Yes. Somehow it, did it have cheesy? Was it deep fried and had raspberry jam on one side? Elizabeth says that's a reach. Yeah, I yeah, that. that's. A I have the Lord Chamberlain Skeksis figuring figuring cool. and the mystic figure from the film sweet that's very cool that is good stuff leela i appreciate that you appreciate that yeah, yeah the day before we had to do a still life of uh-huh. one of his things and i chose the most complicated one good oh, for you good 
So I did a three-hour still life of a motorcycle wrapped in fabric. Oh, Ooh. gosh. I remember in school um, having to draw an um, upside-down tricycle that had a bunch of extension cords, like, wrapped around it. Because it's And trying to make it as realistic as possible. From and They'd put us at odd angles to draw it, to look at. And it was so frustrating and boring at the same time. But I, it helped me... So much being able to look at something and to draw it and make all the lines where they're supposed to be after that. It was just like, it's like learning how to type. It's really annoying while you're doing it. But when you learn how to do it and it comes second nature, it's actually kind of enjoyable. Except typing isn't. <laughs> I did enjoy the dark crystal. I saw that I saw that as an adult, but probably also because my friend Azrael talked it up. Ah, uh, I knew Azrael. He was my kitty cat. He was our kitty. He's in the painting I was showing you. Different Azrael, but that's our kitty Azrael. Right there. I'm him. just trying to figure out what Nidvaller is talking about what the visceral say? hatred for a book because of high school. Did the you mention book? a book? Maybe I wasn't listening. The Count of Monte Cristo? Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. I think a lot ah, of people I hate mentioned that the book. because of... <sighs> you know, it's not like something like... I don't know, like the Red Badge of Courage. I think everybody nah. has to read that in school, and I don't think that's a very good book, and I don't really think much highly of, what's his name, Stephen Foster, the guy who wrote it. Didn't he, like, pretend to have been in the Army? It turns out he wasn't really and all that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever what it is, it, it left a bad taste in my mouth, and I didn't really care for that one. So whenever I hear people talking about, like, the Red Badge of Courage, I'm like, uh, I think about writing book reports. But some books are actually good books that you read in school. I would say Can of Monte Cristo is a, a good book. I liked reading that one. That's, I've read it actually as an adult since I read it as a kid and still enjoy it. But some books that you only read for school or no. Okay, so. Oh, a separate piece. I didn't care for that either. Somebody That's mentions Willow. School. They love that movie. Living we were talking Star. about that last time too. Yeah. Because we were talking about we saw um. Um, Warwick Davis. Warwick and his Davis. Wife yes. At the airport. Uh, yeah. Another person mentions uh, the last Starfighter. Did you watch that with me? Did I make you watch that? <sighs> it's not the one with Molly Ringwald in it, is it? No. What's that? That's Space Hunter: Adventures oh, in the okay. Forbidden Sorry. Zone. Sorry. God, those are, yeah. those are similar compounds. God, you get a fail for that. <laughs> They're similar compound words, are they not? So are lots of things. Ring involved? No. <laughs> no. N no one should like Space Hunters 3D Adventures of the Forbidden Zone <laughs> beg their older sister to take them after they went on bumper boats. Maddie, did you? It was the best day ever. Baby. I went on bumper bumper <sighs> boats, and Maddie. then I get to see Space Hunter 3D uh -huh. Adventures in the Forbidden Zone. Dude. It was incredible. That's... Yes, it stars Molly Ringwald. Okay, this was yeah. between something like Sixteen Candles and mm -hmm. her stint on uh, the uh, uh, Facts of Life, ah. where she played a girl named Molly, mm. and alongside Tootie and the rest. Now, those are shows I have not seen, and I don't want to. Uh, Isis says Sixteen Candles and Breakfast Club. You Jasmine. were actually talking about this last night. I was. I Mary? was talking about um, that. I thought that, as what? far as if you if you like John, he. I thought that the best iconic movie that worked into the teenage, uh, the the teenage psyche, was Heather's versus oh, any Heather's, John yeah. Hughes film. No, I. That's what I agreed with. Because Heather's I said is I did not care Heather's for is John phenomenal, Hughes, but I like and does Heather's. not and it ages fun, It ages wonderfully. Yes. like it. it um, that's a great movie yeah. it just wonderfully it but it does not lack much it yeah. is it is silly it is dark it is clever um heather's is is and such a good film it's very 80s -y. yeah and it but i think it just i think with something i think john hughes um i don't think he did heathers but if he uh, if he I, did good for him but i don't yes. think i don't think so because you were but naming I, I think other he john hughes i think he wants in. to do something like heathers but he didn't I don't know. It's just phenomenal. But I, yeah. But I had, I don't think I like John Hughes movies much. But oh. I like 
It's a breakfast club, okay. I will protect you with the shield of uh, of something. Okay. Lady Hawk was pretty good. Uh, Lady Hawk was good. You know, Luna, I rewatched Lady Hawk, and what I did not like about it was the scoring. And by that, I mean music. Who does, who does the music for it? I don't know, but it was thought... really, if they changed the sco- the music in that film, it could make it, it kind of have bad bad rock music and stuff sometimes. Yeah, I'm trying to think, though. I think I know something about it. Well, I apologize if I've... If I, yeah. if I know. But the score involved. is really bad. Are you talking about Heather's that turned into a musical? I I think it did, um, Heather's Abigail. Heather's did turn into a musical, but, but I it, don't know anything about it. Yeah, actually, I was wondering if, if Ellie had seen it. Huh. Heather's, the film. Yeah, but Heather's is just... Yeah, that's great. It's incredible. So instead of watching and making me watch John Hughes movies, we watched Heather's instead. But you had you'd already seen some John Hughes. No, no, but you were trying to show me something, and I and I asked Valley you Girl. Could, oh, you were trying to Valley make me Girl watch is not Valley John Girl. Hughes. What, that's, that's a not John Nicolas Hughes Cage thing. vehicle. Okay. <laughs> so Abigail memorized the entire musical. Oh, okay. Well, I have, I have not seen the musical of it. I've only the, um, I only know the original uh, movie of it. Well, cool. Abigail, that, such a that's cool. Such uh, phrases like this. Did you have a brain tumor for breakfast? If you like that sort of thing, it's it's just great. It, oh, it Kazuma, they ate the pizza already. Two pizzas demolished. Wow. Mug of coffee, PS4 getting switched on and about to run it around in an isolated Canadian peninsula, peninsula covered in forestry while trying to survive being chased by mutant Canadian cannibal natives while listening to the... St- to the stream in the background. So basically you're just going outside in Canada, right? Oh. (laughs) Yes, LOL, music was not very good to me either, but I thought it was the only one. But I thought I was the only one. No, it's awful, Luna. It does not do the acting and the rest of the movie justice for Lady Hawk. Oh. Um, They really, really need to remaster that. Who did the score for it? Hey, IMDb people, who (laughs) who did the music for Lady Hawk? (laughs) I like, I kind of like, listening to scores from films sometimes so i i I like figuring out the same person who has done different musical elements for different films it's you gotta have your fun man (laughs) yeah no uh some people look at sports some people look at sports some people some people People look at paint pictures scores on movies yeah The, the term score is so you have to explain it each time because it means 17 things. I guess just the music for the film. Was that, is yeah. it better to say that? Yeah, musical musical score. Well, the, the people who score the film are not necessarily the people that would be supplying um, existing songs for a soundtrack. Andrew, Andrew Powell, Jasmine. Who is it? Andrew Powell. I wonder what good old Andy Powell's up to right now. Probably ruining something else. There's too many Andrews who do scoring for music. I think Andy Circus should have scored it. <laughs> that would have been better. You know, just with heavy breathing alone. <laughs> well, there's Andy. Up. Did you guys watch Hamilton on Disney Plus? No, I've just <laughs> seen it twice in real life. I've seen it three times in real life, haven't we? Twice. Uh, well, I know we see it. We saw it in New York. We saw it in London. Did we not see it ourselves? In... No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's really good, uh, it's Abigail. Excellent. You'd love it. Yes, I, and it's the, in London, New York. Both either one were equally good. I would say. Would I be? think that pound for pound, I I like the New York one better. But there okay. were certain th- there were certain things that were better in the other one. But they're they're certainly comparable. Yeah. I, I think I enjoyed the Thomas Jefferson. In the New York one, better than the yeah, Thomas he was, Jefferson. Yeah, he was a really good actor. Yeah, he yeah, was. That was. Oh man, that was good. He's great. Yeah, I love that I musical. Love Mom got upset when I knew ninety nine percent of the words. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he does. They don't get too bad in that one. Oh no, it's actually not even rated. Uh, well, I'm thinking of London. In London, I think you only had to be twelve. To he, see it, they it? they do a couple times. They they hit it. I yeah, think. but I think in London, in England, you only have to be twelve to see Hamilton. Did you see with the OG cast? Um, we like saw original gangsta cast. Um. Yes. Well. No. I'm trying to. We saw it with its opening lineup when we were in London. But, but I don't that know wouldn't have been the original. That wouldn't have been the original. I, I, it opened I, I'm in sorry, York. Elizabeth. I don't know. I'm not sure. But we saw it. 
just but, like a, a year and three months ago in New York. Yes, and, but when we saw it, so in if London, that was the original, we saw it a year cast, and one month ago an, in London, yeah, I, I, didn't we? Oh my god, that's the last time we were in London. No, it's not. We were in London once more since then. I'm really, I, I don't remember. I am lying. We were there. Um, we were in the UK when we went to um, Tintagel, another thing, too. That would have been after. Was it? That was before. Oh, wait. Was that? That was before. Yep. Yeah. So the, the time. And I hurt my knee. Yes. Yes. I hurt my knee because they closed the loo. Figure that one out. Yeah. <laughs> Disney so Plus is the original cast. Boats, oh, okay. Uh, well, then I will watch What's the that? Disney. I'll watch oh, the Disney the Plus. I have Disney the... Plus. I'll watch it. Yeah. Sure. I think one of my favorite musicals has to be the Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's a good one. Uh, that is well loved, Leela. Also, Tim Curry. It is. Unless we were talking about the newer one that has. Um, I didn't see that one. I didn't either. It, that has Laverne Cox plays um, Frankenfurter in it. Yes. Not Tim Curry. No. <laughs> No. Whenever I hear Tim Curry's name, I get hungry. For Portobello's? For Tim oh, Curry. I know. Yeah. I was taking it one step further. <laughs> because he is the narrator for the Ruth Rundle audiobook um, Portobello. Or is it called Portobello Road? Every, no, it's just called Portobello. Every it? time I watch a musical with someone, they tell me to stop awesome. singing because I listen to mu- musicals while drawing. Well... That's the uh, best and only time Abigail, to Abigail, respectfully, they can shut up. <laughs> I, I think uh, that you can, you should be able to sing along all you want. I agree. I think everybody should be able to oh, sing. Oh, Hamilton got me long. through eighth grade history. You go. That is awesome. Tim Curry is awesome in everything. I love him in Clue. Clue is great. A lot of people knew, learned about him from Clue. I have not seen Clue, Maddie. Oh, Clue's good. Is it? Yeah, good? it's okay. not bad. I like Tim yeah. Curry. Who else is in it? Wait, isn't is it uh, Joan Cusack in it? Or I don't think I she is. Somebody else is in it. I, I, it's been so... I, well, like. I think you mean um, Time Warp, but Time Rap is pretty cool, too. That's like the rap time, version. Time thank rap. you, Thomas uh, Clementine. Of, Happy oh, to have you. Yeah. Is that Join the raffle. Nice? Oh. <laughs> no, Join wait, the wait. raffle, Thomas, and you could win a what, Jasmine? Oh, this hour's raffle is for um, a new current pin of the month. Enamel Strangeling pin. Wow. Big room today. Um, This is Milagros Corazon, the pastel variant, and she is the pin of the month for September. And also the prize for this hour. So in the next 25 minutes or whatever, we will be giving her away. Cool. If you type exclamation point raffle and just make sure that you are a follower of me up here at Twitch, which is free. You just click on the little heart thing that I think is... I don't know. Probably next to my name or something. <laughs> I've gotten to listening to Westworld soundtrack by Ramin Djwadi. Ah. That's a nice, beautiful Indian sounding name. Yeah. Exit is. music song for a film done by that composer is eerily beautiful. Yeah. That's, I often, sometimes when I paint, I like listening to soundtracks for films sometimes films i don't even don't even know but will know music from for some reason or from films i like i'm trying to get my stupid oh i think it's working now oh is your audio <laughs> working Oh, I was trying to listen to my um, headphones. Oh, okay. I was so happy I tested in the art too, though. Abigail says. Oh, I'm taking awesome. my official art class, and I made it into art too. But it's so sad we don't get to actually be oh, in class. That has got to be so frustrating, honey. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. That oh, kind of sucks. I feel so bad for you guys who are would normally be going to school or hanging out with friends and stuff. I can't even imagine. That's gonna it's gonna. We're, we're all gonna look back to this time and think it was a very strange time. 
in yeah. heart shaped boxes. That's cool that you got oh, into cool. art too, though. Very proud of you. So Ramin Jawadi, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna. He's Iranian. Okay, cool. Uh, Kurt Cobain would be proud because he did a heart shaped box cover. Oh really? I guess so. I like <laughs> Kurt Cobain. I like the book Heart Shaped Box. I'm a big Nirvana fan. Yeah, I am, I am as well. I like Nirvana. Yeah, you were a... Uh... I was a big fan before you knew me. Yeah, well, you My dad be. was. And my yeah, and my Lisa. mom is too. Yeah. Okay, so the same dude did the m- music for Game of Thrones. Oh, really? Well, okay, okay, yeah. It would say his name at the beginning, even. That's why that sounds familiar to me. It says it in the cool intro. I guess it would say them in all the cool intros. I do like that music a lot. Uh Uh-huh. Midterms during a pandemic is three essays in an art project this time around, so I guess it's another Tuesday in university. Yeah. Says Nid Valor. Yeah. Ramin also did Pacific Rim. I never saw Pacific Rim. I didn't either. Uh, people tried to get me to see it. I just wasn't interested. The It's funny because... Some Beckett's in it. There's a Jasmine Beckett in it. Is that what her name is? There is, well, it's only mentioned once that their name is Jasmine, and it's only gleaned that their name is Beckett, I believe, because... Another character's last name is Becca, and that is their sister or brother. So the only time it comes up is if somebody is writing fanfic about that or mentioning a character with their first and last name. So it doesn't, I don't think, happen in the film, but it is extrapolated from that. And that's like the only name, time that name comes up other than being part of my name. So sometimes it, things get tagged to me about it. It's sort of funny. But I have not seen it. You'd think it would be something I like because it's got giant monsters and shit. Uh, yeah, that stuff. In and it. stuff. And stuff. <sighs> oh no, is that why you put that sound on there? <laughs> is it for when I cuss accidentally? No. Okay. Okay. But yeah. Uh,. Where was I? 20 minutes till the raffle. The raffle. Everybody loves the raffle. That's like the thing. The raffle? Sure. Like the lottery? Is it like the festival? It's like the purge. The purge? Oh. (laughs) Better than I expected. Isn't there a part two? Ah. The purge? No. Baby, if you're if you're reading like um chat room, they, they, if they're that fast you. and we have that slow of a lag, I'd be really impressed. I don't know what's going on. Or delay, rather. I say lag. That sounds bad. Uh, Delays are you, are expected. You a, are you AFK? <laughs> no, I'm JFK. Uh, I say tuber and cuber. But if it ends with uh, E-R, I, mm-hmm. I pronounce it like if the word tuber, you know, I say tuba. I think so about tuba. Why, is, why does JFK do that backwards? What's up with that? Because he's rich and from Boston. He was poor originally. No. Not, he was. Not when he learned how to talk. No, but seriously. Dad if made all that money. If something Google. ends in er, he pronounces it a. And if something ends in a, he that pronounces is something it that some people from around Boston do. Like why? Up in the North Just East. tell me why. Oh, Lord, I, don't, I don't know why you're... Uh, look at British words that have an H in the front that you do say and then ones that you don't say that do have a H. Like herb? Or, you, or, or people who say H instead of H. I mean, there's lots of things like that. When people say H, it makes me happy. It usually means we're in the UK. Yes, they say. <laughs> yeah. uh, how do you spell my name? In the, it's spelled... H, and then they'll continue on. I'm like, oh, what gets me more that, that's, that's are H. vowels. What's that? Vowels get me sometimes when everybody in some parts of the world people will just say a for like every vowel, and it's not. And my ears aren't good at hearing a, it. A, a, yeah. It's like, it's what's, like, can you spell your letter? And it's like, oh, it's well, 
Alea. Yeah, <laughs> like, my, my, Alea? Name's, my name's Liana. How do you spell that? L A A N A. It's like, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, my American ears are very and then I'll, stupid. Like, write it wrong, here. and it's on like some expensive piece of artwork or something, and feel like it's an a idiot. Boston thing. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. Maybe. Boston. Come on, you can chalk Boston. it up to that. That's not an excuse. It's a reason. It's weird, is what Don't, it is. You confuse excuses and reasons, my love. It's cool for for me to see Jasmine as making prints and pins. And also to see how her work has evolved. Aww. I have a pink and black fairy sculpture from quite a few years ago. Oh, wow. It's in rough shape. Well, th- the wings oh. are rough. Yeah, those wings can take a beating. Oh, yeah. Especially if you have cats in your house. We've got our, our cats will sometimes steal my little, the smaller sculptures and just like bunny kick them under the couch. Ugh. Well, oh, well it, you don't have to have a question, um, Gothic. It can be a comment. Oh, yeah. You I just, it's everything. easier to see if my. My dumb names in it since Jasmine's painting and I'm Oh, yeah, Matt, I mean, things might scroll by and Matt might miss it otherwise. My theory is all the rest of the USA speaks with an accent. Everyone from Massachusetts slash Boston area speaks correctly. Wow. Well, to be fair, you could say that could be if you look at Plymouth Rock being in Massachusetts saying that's where everybody, a lot of people who you would say English speakers would start off there. Yeah, I don't know. There's some, and then everybody would have come from there and gone to the rest of the country. There's a thick line. Be- there's a already? thick line between mispronunciation and mm-hmm. an accent. Sometimes it's just plain mispronunciation. Well, if, yeah, if you're the only one in your neighborhood who pronounces that word that way, maybe you're just saying well, it wrong. Why will, yeah. why will I have friends that are from Boston and uh-huh. they sound? Like me, yeah. But then I'll have other friends from Boston, and it's like, you know, hey, 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 let's let's take it back a, a couple notches. <laughs> That's it's interesting that they. And it's like, well, where, what street did you? I, like, I grew up a block from this guy. It's you know, I, I, yeah, I very don't strange. Get it. I mean, I've I've known people from New York who live out in rural areas, New York State, and they sound like they have Southern accents to me. So, so G H O T I, what's how, what does that spell, Jazz, or what does that sound like? What is it? G H O T I. Uh, fish. You, yes, okay. you know the old thing. Um, Bubba Spence was saying Uh-oh. is pronounced fish. Yeah. Laugh women nation. I'm not sure what the laugh women nation part is, but yeah, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Um, from when I was a child, showing us how. That. Yeah, the T I is yeah. sha. I like. I like G-H, talking about like words the, and pronunciation. The latter part like of rough, and the O is in. I forget what the example was, but yeah, it can sound like "eh" sometimes. So yeah, I know the fish riddle. I know lots of riddles. We have three cats. The youngest one keeps destroying all my stuff. He Aww. even eats my brand new cactus. <laughs> That's Abigail. <laughs> but yes, but I may say why, but I love the accents. I'm not saying I don't love the accents. Oh, I just yeah. have no I. They yeah. make absolutely no sense to me. A lot of things that I love make no sense. Cats, <laughs> they girls, say hats or cats. cats. Girls don't make any sense? No. no. Oh. Guy, actually, guys don't make any sense to me, but I don't love them uh, much. Uh, yeah. Girls are always very straightforward. <laughs> I'm a very simple person, Matt. <laughs> And cat girls especially. Cat girls yeah, make even less sense. Yeah. So. Cat cat woman, she she made a cat lot of women. sense. We were trying to why we kept talking about cat women. I think the Boston answer. accent is cousins with the Cockney. I think so too. I think it's the the cross Atlantic version of it. Yeah. Good choice not saying Jasmine. Well, hey. I shouldn't have said that out loud. Hey. Mm. Maddie. No. What's going on? Some people know they don't make sense. It's okay. You don't have to make sense. I've never claimed to. But I get accused of being too logical. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cool to rule my world. (sighs) An interesting thing about accents. North Dakota was originally settled by Norsemen. Yep. Yes, it was. As such, if Marvel wanted to be accurate, Thor should have sounded like he was from Fargo. From Fargo? Not in Austin. Aussie? Oh, not an Aussie. <laughs> I, th- I think, yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, I think you mean not true. an Aussie. That's the first um, of the the white. Actually, they do there. kind of sound yeah. like that, like uh, they're Swedish and 
and Nor- Nordic. Who does? Norwayish. On the, on Thor, the, 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 the people Thor in Thor's? the north part of our country. Oh, they yeah. kind of have a, a certain way of talking. That's oh, they have a Swedish uh, like people from oh, Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. They have yeah. their leftover uh-huh. Swedish yeah. accent, or even like my mom's okay. family, like yep. in Illinois and stuff. Yeah. Yes, but Illinois has it to some degree. Illinois has it to some degree. It sounds very, to me, it sounds very friendly. They were Swedish immigrants. It sounds agreeable and friendly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do you really think so? In yeah, the I said had a lot of huh. German immigrants too. And Chicago kind of has that. The uh-huh. bears. Thing. Yeah. Shouldn't he have just an Icelandic accent? Uh, actually, he yeah. should have uh, the Marvel Thor is not he's from, from a different planet. He's from a different he? planet, yeah. so he should have. He shouldn't be he able to speak have, English. Yeah, you have a very planetary mindset. Upper Michigan, Icelandic. Yeah, Icelandic is the closest to Old Norse. Well, I guess if you worship a god, the god has to speak your language. I don't feel that way. Hey, this is Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. Oh my gosh, Charlotte's here too. Hey, honey. For those of you who wow. don't know Charlotte, she has beautiful red hair. She does. She's my and niece. Don't, don't get rid of it. Getting all my nieces in it. Yes, Charlotte, don't ever lose your beautiful red hair. Unless you want to. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to tell you what <laughs> Actually, to do. Actually, yeah, dude, tie your hair. Do whatever you want with it. That's what I do. Now, oh, nice now I kind of do miss Cousin here. Camp. I know. That's what I mean. I have Cousin Camp online. Girl, how are you going to gonna stream the same time as a Chiefs game? Gosh, I think we just kind of hit record and or like oh, really? a, go live and just do it. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really, uh, it doesn't I've, really I've, hurt. I've, watched a Chiefs game so have you ever watched, watched a Chiefs game Jasmine I've, no but I've seen Flight of the Navigator <laughs> and I've watched Xanadu and Heathers which was excellent so now um I am not a Chiefs fan I'm not I, a, I'm from the Kansas I, City area but I'm not, not a Chiefs, Chiefs fan. fan I'm just not a, a, a sports fan oh that uh, g- right. good point yeah good point. I, it's no it's not like I'm all about the Detroit Fair um, enough. Yes, I'm not. I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a. I'm not a American football fan. Yeah. No, I'm not either. There. Are... But I want to go to the sporting event itself when it's not weird. I've I've never been to one of those. I've been when I was a kid. I went to a Royals game, which was a baseball game in Kansas City. Yeah. And um, no, I'm not. A, I just don't like professional sports. Right. I, I, you Ten know, minutes till the raffle. The Olympics Lila. are cool. I think it's neat. When people can do cool stuff, I like playing sports. Like I'll, I'll, I'm good at like baseball and stuff. Like if I play it. Okay, it's Aaron Glunt. He's a he's a KC dude. Oh, I was gonna say yes. somebody else. We would often um, see no, at the Renaissance Festival. You know, I, I don't yeah. think we really have any plan. We don't have any current plans to come to Kansas City. No, I, yeah, they need to figure out what the rules are because like i'm not gonna go if i have to self-isolate for 14 days on my way there and 14 days on my way back also and i'm actually one of the people who has to because i'm like immunocompromised so it's i'm trying to figure out what to do no we we don't watch any sports ball sports ball charlotte's asking no No sports sports ball? ball no no, no sports, sports ball. ball. I, I I have my my mom likes sports. Ball. I sometimes enjoy when um, when people punch each other on TV. Yeah, you'll watch that the, sort of sport. The fighting people. Um, I also like strongman competition. Uh, yeah, um, weightlifting. Like the, the, the weightlifting things. The um sometimes parts of the Olympics will watch yeah. that. Um, but the, the team sports, I'm not. I'm not. I, I don't mind playing some of them. I I'm I'm fond yeah. of volleyball. Yeah, much well, like Keith Raniere. Yeah, you and Keith Ranieri, man, are two, we two pieces. We love of the volleyball. You know, volleyball, midnight volleyball. I kind of like rugby. You know, rugby actually does have. Rugby, a, yeah. You know, it's got that appeal because it's not from. It's not something I know. You know, it's 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 foreign yeah, to me, it's literally. Cool because it wasn't so it's a little in bit more States cool, especially. And they're also those guys are also have really impressive uh, muscles on their dental legs. dental work. Yeah, I I don't know. Oh, Charlotte went away. She just walked by and thought she would say hi. Hey, honey. Bye. That's her Bye. way. That's how she That's how she. Well, rolls. it's funny because I was thinking about how I saw yesterday, how I kind of saw like Milo and Felix and Theo and Ellie and Fox and Willow, you know, all on the Fox's violin Zoom thingy. Oh, you have fun. Um, You have fun, Rice. Oh, 
That, uh, yeah, go watch your, uh, go enjoy your Chiefs, and I go hope they, I hope they Chiefs. win for you. I hope, well, I really do, yes. just because you I, like. Yes. Them. And I hope and you have a blast. Now they're going to win, and you guys will know why. Yeah. It's true. Because we said it on this stream. Yeah, it's actually up to me. I just never cared before, so. <laughs> Dancing sports are the only ones I've ever watched. Dancing, Dancing sports. sports. Like ballet? Like uh, dressage? Or like come dancing? Like, or the, um, oh, God, darn it. I like the dressage. What, uh, that's when horses dance. Yes. Okay. Yes. I would also appreciate it if, if people danced with horses, but I don't think there's anyone that. People dance with donks. Yeah, there is dog dancing. Dog I really, really want to see some people dance with horses, though. There's dances with wolves. Dances with wolves. That's yeah. Not, if that's what you're looking for, you're not going to find it in that film. I'm. I mean, there's dancing with uh, Baloo there's and and King with, Louis. Dancing with the stars. And um, they they are not um, they're they're human sorts of animals. I'm trying to go for a little something a little bit more exotic. You think they're human because they dance on their hind legs. That doesn't oh. make them. There human. is equestrian callus. Calisthenics, I think you mean to say? Calisthenics? Equestrian um, calisthenics, wherein a human is exercising which is Which is equestrian gymnastics, basically. Cool. Do they roll around and such? I think the horses, oh, uh, like, jump K- over. Kedia, don't... I, yeah, don't worry about it. I just like calisthenics. So, I, <laughs> yeah. That sounds fun. It actually... Uh, yeah, I, I want to teach a horse how to do a backflip. And, like, while I'm riding them. Like and then I do the like back going on an upside down roller They coaster. used to have, um, there used to be some sort of, I don't know what they do at medieval times here in town, in Orlando. I haven't been to. But remember they always had that billboard of the Arabian Nights yeah. show and the guy would always do a flip on the back of the horse? Uh-huh. Yeah, it was like on the highway. It's like us. both that man and the horse are well trained. <laughs> it's just a weird thing to do, a flip on the back of a horse. It is, Yeah. Taking a horse to a sock hop. I would love that. I would love to take a horse to a sock hop. I learned I, Who this... would wear the dress, me or the horse? Or would we both wear tuxes? I don't know. Or would That's we both de- wear dresses? Depends how the horse identifies. Yes. I think I would wear a tux. Yeah. And I would just ask, you know, I, I'd give, I'd send the horse an email, give him a few weeks to figure it out. I would say for just... Cleaning Tutus. up sake, okay. I, horses, yeah. I, I would recommend a skirt or a kilt because... And or, a diaper. Or split pants, yeah, because... Can I ask Jasmine if them. Disney has approached you to design and design and design ear, designer ears? Ears? They have not... They uh, oh, you mean yeah. the, the Mickey like Mouse ears, hats? Like ears, like to wear? Um, no, they I think haven't. That's what... No, they haven't yet, but... Stay tuned. Uh, Disney's been asking me to do a lot of new stuff lately, and a lot of new things are happening and changing at Disney, so who knows what will be happening soon. Now I miss horses. Now you miss horses. Oh. Yeah, what's I, the last I, time I'm, you're on a horse, man? I've been joking lately, but I, I really I really miss horses. I know. I well, just want to pet a horse. You miss. And I, I mean, want to stick my little hand. You know how you stick your hand by the horse's nose and you smell the sniffs? I, That's so yeah, sweet. I love horses. Man, I miss horses. Man. Last okay, took I too long to find an acceptable behind. password to sign up with. Gosh. At Matt, props. I'm sorry. Props for the Prince reference. Yeah. You know it. Sweet. I just got a message from uh, Sugarfield. Oh. On my phone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I we not not for potentially touch. some fun projects with those guys. Oh yeah. Maybe yeah. you guys will see it. Okay, took way too long. Um, not a painting. <laughs> the people are like, "Are you gonna do another?" Uh, uh, d- Jasmine and um, Michael Banks did do a. We a, did a do piece a together. painting together. Very yes. popular. Yes, very popular. Very popular. Painting. But that's not what I was referring to. No, this I, is I did un- not want unrelated. to mislead you guys. No, it isn't a new, a new painting. Charlotte loves horseback riding. Whenever we go to North Carolina, ooh, oh, that's North, nice. the Carolinas are good. Uh, good horse yeah. states. Yeah, those Florida are good. Florida isn't horsey. bad. Yeah, Florida's got a lot yeah. of horses. Is the run fair you are speaking of down in Florida? No, we were uh, oh, referring no, to the um, one in Kansas City. Gothic, you, uh, you know how we were talking about the Kansas City Chiefs? Yeah. Well, we have a lot of family that lives in the Kansas City area, yeah, and there's I a Kansas a, City Renaissance Festival. I have it's a actually a pretty there good one. And a little store at the Kansas City Renaissance We got about Festival. three minutes. Usually it'd be happening right seconds. now, but it's, you know, the world's crazy, so. Yeah. <laughs> so nothing's um, happening anymore. 
Yeah. But we're doing stuff online. Mm. Cool. Sugar fueled and JBG signed me up. That's not. I don't think it. Well, it could. It's something uh, you, you know, can, might done, be able to. We've I, I don't know. We've been together before. A, a very nice one. Um, Sweet Dreamers. Sweet Dreamers. Yeah. It's beautiful. And say, I, I have another collaboration I'll be working on soon with another artist, but uh, maybe in the future we'll do another one with Michael. That was a lot of fun. We're looking forward to going to Florida around Christmas and summer since Mom's sister just moved there. Oh. Oh, really? That's nice. That's cool. It's a good, especially a nice place to be around in the in the winter. <laughs> It's like every everywhere else in the country will just be awful, but Florida will be, you know, sixty five degrees and sun. Um, a- Abigail, you don't need to join the raffle if you don't wanna. If you, <laughs> you want something, you can just uh, honey. email yeah. me. Yeah. I think that's sweet, though. Sure. If you win, you win. Yeah. Yep. So we got two minutes to the raffle, and um. Yep. yep. I should get that little dean. Actually, it's probably less than two minutes. But that's when yep, my I'll little alarm goes off. Oh, yes, please show it off. Yep. There we go. Where to show it off? Oh, wait. wait. I don't think my thing's working. Oh, I will fix it. I will fix it. Uh-oh. Don't worry. In plenty of time. Okay. We, we got this. Ah. It's quick. Ah. It's good. Don't. We got, I'm not really. Oh my! I'm not. Oh, I'm not, I'm ouch! Really and, ooh! Oh! Oof! There we go. Okay. Is it working now? Okay. Oop! Let does me get on that. Like time out sometimes, or what does it? I don't know what it do does. Do okay. it, it, you know, it doesn't do it on the other broadcast. Like on the paint cam, it didn't. Yeah. Oh, also, um, I'd, uh, we can we'll mention that after the raffle. Yeah. Um, how to see jasmine paint during the week sometimes. Oh yeah. Uh, Again, not as interactive. No, it doesn't have audio. But if you if you just in it for the art, ah. come yeah, visit her. Yeah, if you her. just want to spy on me and my paintings, you can see what I'm working on. And sometimes the cats will sit on me, but that's not like the main thing. Oh, Abigail says a lot. A lot of my friends are artists, so I'll show off your art, and they'll think it's super cool. Please do, please do. Sure. That's awesome. Thank you, honey. A lot of artists in our family, kind of, don't we? Uh, we have a lot of people that generally branch out into in the general, creative. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. It's amazing. It's it's a good thing. Yeah. Well, the, the thing, thing is that uh, when you have a job like yours and it's a full fledged job, yeah, they can at least appreciate it. Yeah. And they won't think it's weird exactly. too much. Exactly. I mean, it is kind of weird. It's a weird job. That's true. All right, I pick that winner. There we go. Is that was that the your alarm noise? Yeah, and I will pick the winner. Toward the pen. And we are going to put the S Faith Zero Zero. Cool. Congratulations. You gotta have S Faith. Alright, and I'll start that last raffle. In the last raffle, we don't know what the prize is yet because we'll use the magic spinning prize wheel thingy. All right. I will announce it in the room. You won the uh, Pastel Milagros Corazon pin. S. Faith. Oops. I suck at copy pasting things. And we will put those for sale up on the website too, up at strangeling.com, um, probably tomorrow, Maddie. Yeah. We'll get those up. If you are not yet, join the Patreon pin collector tier because while it's still September, you'll get her and the albino alligator girl. There we go. And you get those. And then next month you'll get. Hey, I haven't shut off the. No, the we need to show this month. off. Oh, pin people! You you might have seen this if you're already on. And that but... Nintendo guy's in the room too. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's in... um yes. Our October pin of the month is this cutie. Um, I'm just calling him Pumpkin Spice Dragon Portrait because he is a variant on my um dragon portraits, but is done in like autumny shades of orange and brownish red, and he is super cute, adorable. 
And next month, October, will be a very special month because we also have a new Patreon pin. So Patreon exclusive pin, not for sale anywhere. You only get a beer Patreon um, pin collector Yay. member in October. And this will be a smooth enamel, about inch and a half, about that big, pin, die cut, silver metal on the back, fancy Strangeling logo pin. So it's the little Strangeling logo that we put on everything. We went ahead and turned it into a pin, and that will be one that Patreon patrons who are $25 plus as of October will get that. If you're clever, you'll join while it's still September, so you can get... Some people have done these that. Pins. Some of you have already we, done that. Right? Yes. You guys are awesome. Um, you start off with these, and then not long after, you'll get these two. So, and then you get new ones as they come out, and you won't miss any, which is always the worry thing because when I run out, we don't make any more of those. So, it's important. Would you ever do a light up pin? Oh, it'd probably be it. That'd be neat. I would like with a little battery in it. I, I would, yeah. I'd, I'd worry about like if it had a battery, what would happen to it? Like if the battery went out, I don't know. Maybe. So Kazumaka, uh, you realize that Wales is 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 a, it's not the biggest country. She probably um, that. They're one of the biggest animals. Can I suggest whenever Jasmine does the red variant of this little dragon, yes. to do it around March time? Okay. As March 1st is St. David's Day. Oh, that's my middle name. That is. That's Matthew's middle name. In Wales and Red Dragon, well, you know. Yes. And, and you know what? March 2nd is our anniversary. You should go to Wales for your your saint's birthday. That's pretty weird, Jasmine. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what day is St. Matthew's Day? I don't know. Is it your birthday? Okay. I have her glow in the dark pumpkin pin. Yes, we had that two years ago. I had two, for October. I, had I two believe. different pumpkin pins that glow in the dark. Actually, haven't I? Well, you have. Uh, well, we have Halloween a witch night. one. There's Halloween night. Yeah, and I even messed up and thought that that was, uh-huh. and I had the wrong one. And then there's jack o' lantern. Oh, fairy. thank you, J N Skittles. Is that something? Lovely to see you. Thank you. Lovely. But there was Jack O' Lantern Fairy who had the little pumpkin, and then there was Halloween Night, which was a little witch. And they each had a pumpkin. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then um, Pumpkin Pixie, but that was a Strangely UK exclusive. It was, and yeah. she didn't glow in the dark. She did not glow in the dark. I I like the glow in the dark ones, but I like I prefer the sparkly ones more. So you prefer the sparkly ones? I do because they always because they always look pretty. Yeah, I don't, I don't know which ones I like. But more. I will say, man, those glowing ones are actually pretty intense. Yeah. And, and you you guys, after I put them on the cards, um, <laughs> I shine a flashlight on them all, and I check them individually, um, to see, just to make, make sure, sure they, they, they work. I remember Sometimes different parts of them glow. I don't know why, but yeah, uh, there the there there was one time when um it was. Uh, I don't think they had the technique down right. Uh-huh. So I learned my lesson. So now I laboriously <laughs> go through and check each and one. And check each one. Mm. So Man. Oh, you guys important. can I, I would be I'll be happy to do that again and again. Yeah. No, we'll we'll have, we'll do a glowy one. You know, I had a glowy one that was scheduled to be for Whitby Goth weekend, and that's not happening this year. Don't don't tell me. I won't that. tell you what it is, but there is a glowy one. So, I might have told somebody at some point. I don't even remember. Just a thought as Once Upon a Midnight Dreary would be the perfect um, pin for November. It would be a nice one, Leela. No. <laughs> yep, it was Leela. Was it Leela? Yes. <laughs> we appreciate all your hard work. Oh, no problem. I appreciate all your uh, Aww. Uh, capital. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it allows we, me to. We love your attention. It allows me to buy this, you know, little stream deck no, thing, see, and I can press buttons. It's like, true. No, so thank you for your for your support. Thank you. No, if it wasn't for that sort of thing, we wouldn't even be doing this. So. We need a kitty. <gasps> we do. Who should I grab? It's either Gamer or Sunshine, because Rio will have none of it. I had Rio. Um, yes, it? and she does it once every six months. Yeah, that was, was that here on Twitch or was it on? Um, the paint cam that I had Twitch. 
Huh? Oh, it's Twitch because okay. I did the little. Oh, yeah, because you had the little Rio. <laughs> you silly. That was cute. It's very cute. It's cute because she looks like she's laying in your painting there. Aw. Like well, laying you know in the painting, little Rio. Okay, Holy Beast Cat, let's see if we can find Fat Gammy. Oh, fat Gammy, Fat Gammy. Where are you, Fat Gammy? How could I miss you? How would you not see Fat She's Gammy? She's probably under a blanket upstairs. You know, I saw her when I went upstairs. She's so big. You, you know, I could stand to um, run upstairs real quick and I could grab Gammy. Sure, yeah. Okay. You want to you take a look? Uh, yeah, take, take one break? quick okay. break and yeah, we'll then um, break, be right, we'll be right back in a couple minutes and I'll bring Gammy. <laughs> sure. Because I think me... last I saw her, she was on my bed with the, um, like, under the blanket. Okay, but we're going to take a little break, guys. I got to grab another brush anyway, so.
captured her. Oh my gosh, I found my giant gammy. Yay! Aww. She was on she was asleep on the bed and she followed me down. She's like a sleepy teddy bear right now and she's being so cozy. Her heart's beating slow. She's hibernating. No, baby. Jasmine, are okay, yeah. I'm talking in the room about kombucha. Yeah. Who in the room knows about kombucha? I do. Okay, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, it, Jasmine, what? could you show up and just kind of yeah. explain sure. how, what kombucha yeah. is? If you, if you, I mean, you could probably explain it better. It's just a... Kazumaka's like, what? <laughs> it's a, they have it at grocery stores, like by checkout aisles. It's a um, small amount of juice and tea and people ferment it. You make it kind of like how one would make beer, but it, it doesn't have alcohol in it. There's, there's some that do, but it's... Not that oh, it's like point zero zero yeah. zero. It's like how um, it's like how miso paste or ramen soup has alcohol, and I mean lots of there or you know soy sauce. It's I love. Fermented. Yeah. I love. Yeah, kombucha's kombucha. good. Uh, you can make it yourself at home, but um, you really need to know what you're doing because it can be if you're not. It's not pasteurized, which is why it, it ferments, and that's why <laughs> it gets bubbles. It's like a natural way to carbonate things. So Abigail, you don't yeah. know kombucha either. Yeah, it's something. It didn't really get popular. What did I just spell like dinner, dinner like Dooner? <laughs> ah, what's what it's it? what's for Dooner? Oh, <laughs> Com maybe are we are we weird that we like kombucha? Maybe we're like vegetarians I guess, and shit. Yeah, Jasmine. Oh, and stuff. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you are doing that to play when I swear, aren't you? Goodness, golly, golly gee. Okay. I was gonna start working on her eyes, so I think I zoomed in pretty good on her eyes. Whoa, Gammy! No, that's my. What couch. does she got? The couch? <sighs> no. Why can't we have nice things? She, because Gamera is why we can't have nice things. My favorite is the tropical. It's an acquired taste for sure. I, I probably love it. I like the one that we got. That is um, coconut lime. Is that what it is? Yeah, um, so this, is, like this is Hum one. brand. It's actually, it's kind of pricey. But I got these buy one, get one, so don't feel bad for me. <laughs> I'm sure we were all worried for you, Maddie. Yeah, I, you're terrified. It, how, is your camera working good? Uh-oh. I yep. think so. Yeah, you're yeah, good. Yeah, I was trying to zoom in so it would, is it? No, is no, it you're good. Up? I just wanted okay. to make sure it wasn't Is it still. showing up zoomed yeah. in, though? Your huh? Okay. What's the name of this painting? It's Darling Dragonling Darling Six. Darling Dragonling Six. And I believe with the other ones in the series, we did it with like the um, Roman numeral. So I guess it would be V1. Or you can write six. That's fine. But kombucha, you, you'll eventually it's get it there in Wales. It, it Maybe it's something that... I've had kombucha in but, the UK. I've had it in Glastonbury. But that's kind of a new agey, hippie sort of... Um, city it so. is and of course we whenever we're in a new city we always hit the weird health food stores cause yeah i have this thing that it smells like when i was a little kid and um it smells like when we used to go to health food stores i like that smell so I mean, oh yeah i love health food stores it's what getting, like, it's what um food whole foods here. used to used smell to like <laughs> before it turned into a big they, they do have a good a good smelling section but it's yeah. it's usually their like uh soaps and things the soap and vitamin but um not as much of the like dry herby smell oh, like that's the, what i'm talking yeah, about i, know I really like, like that smell 1980s vitamin smell it's not the tea that is infused with hemp no that's not kombucha no the kombucha is a, I think kombucha can... is a, a probiotic Com thingy. yeah it's it's a fermentation process that makes carbonation and so like instead of putting co2 like you would through like a beer or like a soda yeah. pop it it, the fermenting of the juice and the um, whatever sort of sweetener they put in so, it Jasmine, makes the bubbles. Yeah, uh, Tink Pruny Martin's got it going on. Oh. Hubby's coworker makes homemade kombucha and kimchi for us. Nice. You probably have the good gut. That is, yep. yeah, that's a lot of yeah. probiotics. So yeah, that's that's basically that's the way. idea. Of Kazumaka's uh, gut health. Yeah, which is, which is you know important. we we don't know a ton about, but hey, let's try. You know, let's have. But kimchi is. Yeah, it's kimchi. Good for that. It's hard, I love it's hard kimchi. to find veggie so kimchi. Good. They put fish sauce in a lot. But oh, yeah, I, when it, I just when have, have veggie it, kimchi. Yeah. Well, kimchi is usually only. And you can make your own. But yeah, you can make your own. 
Yeah. You can bury a pot. Oh, I think my thing stopped again. Oh, see, it's funny. I just was talking about it, but okay. I will fix. Hmm. Fixing the little cam, the webcam. Where are you, webcam? Where are thingy? you? Where are you, kitty? Where are you, kitty? And Wonder Twin Powers activated. Form of a webcam. Cool. And the other one is like an elephant. I don't no, know. it's not. It's always a damn bucket of water, isn't it? Well, that's the one I was talking about. Oh, okay. is, is I was talking about the, the female. Oh. Yeah, Wonder Twins are, are something else. They make theirs with cabbage. I make with a daikon radish. Ooh. You can Man, do it with Man, that sounds yeah. so good. You know I love a uh, horse. Uh, I love horseradishes, and I love uh, anything with cabbage. Yeah. And um, I love, uh, of course, uh, um. You like radishes of any type. And I do radishes too. and and I like uh. I like what are referred to as French breakfast radishes. You see them in England. And sauerkraut. Yeah, these are just these are like I eat them raw for breakfast. Yeah. Like, and they're just they're kind of mm. oblong and like pointy, and they're sweet. Sort of. And they're like the best radishes. And they call them oh. French breakfast radishes hey, Troy. in Europe. Howdy! Back, back at you, Troy. <laughs> well, I've seen lots of people here today. 100, that's Buddy's Troy. Yeah. I, I should mention that's that. you guys are doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, if you just said Troy, I would assume. Coffee, I drink lots of coffee. Very good for my H ADHD. It contains neurological health properties. Can't re remember its proper scientific term. I've had, I've had natural recreational, like natural recreational coffee. Recreational coffee. It's he like heard. not a, not awesome. prescription coffee, but <laughs> oh, oh, Troy heard us! Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, I, yeah, I don't know why I started. Isn't all coffee that recreational? Thing. No, I, mean, I hope that coffee eventually is is uh, legal for recreational use. Yes, yeah. you get, have to get a medical coffee use card. Yeah, I I saw a meme the other day, uh -huh. and it said it bases your person personality off how you make your coffee, uh -huh. and it showed very various like French presses and coffee makers and stuff, and it showed a Keurig and it it says who hurt you. Oh wow! And I'm like I just thought it was a really fantastic way, and it, <laughs> it actually a... takes the cure K cups take up half the coffee aisle anymore. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty popular. Or oh, those Nescafe things. Charlotte Taylor Taylor Latte eleven. Oh, and that's Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. Yeah. Gamer is eating my sketch, man. She's gonna okay, bite I'll, out I'll of stop. it. Topper. Sorry. Don't don't do that. She might be eating the tape off of it. I don't want her to eat the tape. Too bad you're a monkey cat. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. It's she, she bit off the masking tape. You darn monkey cat. Sorry, Gamera is eating the tape off of my sketches. Yeah. Thanks, Gammy. Yeah, we don't want footprints on it. Okay. <laughs> taking her away. I don't know. Okay. You want to sit by me? You want to help me broadcast? Want to help me press buttons, please? <laughs> press a button. What button do you want to press? You're going to let Gamer push you. the buttons. I've got a trainer somehow. Yeah, that's true. She has to work for our family oh. family business eventually, Gamer. That's the one she pushed. Gamer pushed the paint button. But yeah, so I haven't, again, I haven't, I don't know what colors I originally intended for this painting as I started it quite a while ago. But I'm starting to kind of get a feel for the character a bit more, and I, I, I'm going to make the eyes on the dragon a little bit bigger so he kind of matches the um, main character a bit more, too. Make him look more like a small baby dragon as opposed to like a small full-grown dragon. Jasmine? Yeah. Is, uh, what, what sort of kitty is Gammy? A tortoise shell. Uh, she's a, just a short-haired mutt thing. <laughs> She's a, tortoise shell. She's a tortoise shell and is um, very cross-eyed and very kind of, she she kind of, we think maybe when she was a kitten she might have gotten run over or something. She was a rescue 
Because her legs are kind of pointing the wrong direction and she's a bit strange. <laughs> and cross-eyed, she doesn't see very well. But she's a tortoise shell and she's very pretty and she's genuinely very sweet, but she has no filter and no boundaries. She is a beast cat. bite you on the she's face. She's awful. Mm -hmm. Bite you right in the face. Yeah, exactly. But we love her. I remember we thought she was just kissy at first. Yeah, we're like, why do you then like she started kisses? And it's like, biting no, the lips. Like, I'm trying to eat your face and I'm going to do it while you're asleep and sneak up on you. And, you know, not the same, really. Oh, no problem, Charlotte. She says she confuses tor tortoise shells with calico. Yeah, they're really similar. Tortoise shells are dark and have bits of orange and. I think calico and has some white. Calicos are white and have solid patches, usually, of is orange and black. Is cow kitty a calico? Um, cow kitty, I think, is just black and white. That's a kitty we see on our walks. That yeah, we, cow kitty, I think, is uh, just black and white. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab cow kitty one day and just Aww. kiss her on her lips. Well, remember one time she was um, lying on the um by the sidewalk and she gave us kisses. Yeah, I'm always afraid that her her, her owner's, owner's gonna her like, owner's gonna to see us her. eyeballing the cat. Like, you want my cat, don't you? Like, yes, yes, I want your cat. <laughs> Carrie Cat has started biting. Oh. Every time I try to go for a pee, she tries to bite me on the butt cheek. Oh, no. You should not keep your cat in the toilet. <laughs> that is not appropriate place to keep a cat. To be fair, a lot of people will keep a litter box, like, in the bathroom. Yeah, we, we got one of those litter boxes that... Um, we got a... Ro uh, what's it called? A litter robot? Litter, litter robot. Yeah, it's really... It's the one that texts you when your really cat takes up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it will text Matt and he's like, oh, the litter box is full. And even like if you're in a different country, it's... Yeah, I'm like trying to enjoy like... a like a walk or something. It's yeah. like, hey, your, your, your cat's your filled cat. up this box. Go and clean it, it, it out. And it them like when, when they go in there. So we know that one of the cats is using it actively. It's kind of funny. But it works really no, well. No, Charlotte. You cannot put your kitty in the toilet. No. Toffee, att Toffee attacks Bob all the time. Oh. My cat jumps whenever I use the bathroom. Cool. Are they afraid of the toilet flusher? I, the toilet could just scare the cat, and they're, maybe they're trying to protect you, and they don't... I think sometimes cats don't know how to express themselves in a a way a human might, so they bite like you song or bite you in, in order to try to or, uh, yeah. explain something to you. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what's going on in their heads each other when oh he jumps happens. in my lap i oh i don't i don't think i like the cat in the bathroom with yeah, me i try to keep from that whole general area when yeah the, i remember one time around. using the bathroom and azrael tried to like bat at me and i didn't like it <laughs> so the litter litter bot is awesome we have one best it is awesome mimi it, it is i agree it's it's expensive, it's worth but it is seven worth, million dollars or how much it's worth i've every almost penny, thought about yeah. getting another one. yeah i know <laughs> Yeah. Just so I feel like, you know, since it texts me or whatever, I feel like I have friends and yeah. like, oh, Litter Robot wants to, oh, thank you, Litter Robot. And it, and it ours like, like glows blue at night, like puts a little light so the kitty can see where they're going. Our ginger no soul cat used to use the <laughs> toilet. Perfect aim. Just wish she'd flush it. Holy That's cow. Good. Kitties, I know, that is amazing. Cats can do that. There's a thing where you can train your cat to learn how to um, use the toilet like you... Like it, the it probably works better if you have a spare bathroom that, like, maybe usually for guests or something, so it's not like your main toilet, <laughs> if you have an extra one. But, yeah. And you, you start off by putting, like, a, a like a shallow litter box tray on the under the seat of the toilet, and eventually you take that away. Yeah, you yeah. know, but sometimes I have to use the toilet. That's what I was saying. If you have, yeah. it works better if you have a spare bathroom. Oh, uh, I guess we're lucky. If you're lucky that if you have two two bathrooms, we have more know. bathrooms than people. Yeah, um, we have more bathrooms than people at our house, so it's fine if the cats have one. Yeah, they could just use the. They would just probably teach them on that that one in, by the gym. Yeah. Never trained him. Caught him at, at one day and just stood there shocked. Wow. wow. That's extra amazing if they just did it on their own selves. Oh, my new rescue kitty waits outside the bathroom for when I come out. Aww. And Good Abigail says, you. he always tries to get me to feed him, so he'll get super cuddly whenever I use the bathroom since he wants me to feed him. Aww. Aww. Well, that's just darling. I, we, we, Matt and I love kitties a lot, in case y'all can't tell. I think we've made it bloody you obvious. You think so? Yeah, that's like a lot of what I talk about. 
we talk about the cats. I, I mean, half of my little silly things are kitty. Oh, yeah, yeah, things. that's yeah. true. Let's see. I've made his eye a little bit bigger. I've also kind oh, of we got made some it. sort of follow. Let's see. Was oh, that that magic thing? Baby dragon draws. Oh, that's a good. That's name. That's a great name. I'm drawing baby dragons. Thank you and welcome. Thank you and, and welcome. Exclamation welcome. raffle if you, if you want to win the cool prize. Oh yes, we don't know what the prize will be. We yet don't. The center, so we we'll, don't. We'll have the magic prize circle thing. Do you still have only three cats? That's what we we like yeah. to keep it at three. We we keep it at three. But I might get that cow cat. You like that cow cat? Cats no, are better than dogs. I, I can't say that. Cats are easier for my lifestyle than all, dogs. All animals belong, but yeah. Um, but cats are, I, I, they work into my lifestyle a lot better than dogs do. I love doggies, but Matt's allergic to doggies. And also, doggies need a lot more attention than cats. And my attention is always distracted. I think... I, I, dogs are might be more loving. I don't know. Depends on the cat and depends on the dog. Also, dogs. I don't know cats. that 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 dog love is pretty hardcore. It is, but it's almost a sycophantic sort of love. So more than a okay. I will accept the dog's strange dependency. Okay. That's that's lovely. But I I love kitty. I mean the the thing is I can't love the dog back the same way. I just don't have enough. I think I can time admire cats in a way I can't admire dogs sometimes. But I think that I think that dogs are more emotionally Doggies available. love me, too. Doggies do love you, which is sad because they make you sick. Yeah, that's okay. I, I, just, I just clean up. It's mm -hmm. not a big deal. But yeah, I, I fought it for years, yeah. and I realized, you know, I just, just you got the stupid dog allergies, and I would give it to anyone. Yeah. Poor doggies. Will another mystery pin pack be, ever be done again? <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it will be. The problem with the, is the last time when it unintentionally went live, it it used up a whole bunch of our extra pins. So it's like I've got to make sure we stock up some more. And Matt has to make the little packs, which takes a while too. But yeah, we'll we'll probably do that. We'll at least make it available for the Patreon. Um, members like in the that part of the store yeah we'll, we'll get that up there pretty soon i think we could act didn't you say that you'd have those done pretty fairly soon yeah getting the little packs yep. ready yep when when we do i'll post up at patreon and let you guys know what day what day and what time it will go up so if anybody's interested in one they can snag one before they before they sell out and probably crash my website no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry Crash in the old website. Crash in the website. Yeah. It's like, why don't you have this up there? And then when, like you do, it's like, why is this website? And then it's like, oh, when's they going to ship? And it's like, my gosh. I'll... We will. But that's okay. I'm just happy people like them. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Thank you. I see Thank that you. as passion. Thank you. Me too. I, have I know to. how I am about stuff. So, you know, I'm a weird collector of things. Ooh. We got another followers. That? Oh, cool. Thank you. Achator. Thank you. Thank you. Achator. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I like the name. Cool. I ran out of my room. I ran out of room on my pin board. Too many uh -oh. pins. Oh, yeah, there's worse things. I'm going to have a swallow of kombucha. Kombucha. See, if you say it like, I'm going to have some kombucha, it makes it sound less fancy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to spoil some of the kombucha. It's good. It's good. Would you like some? Uh, sure. I've just been drinking tea. Pretend you're on a commercial spot. Huh? Commercial. Oh. <laughs> Good director, Manny. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you, babe. So, Achator says, hey there, love your art style. Thank you. And Night Cop says, you guys are awesome. I love your work. Thank you very much. Well, Jasmine is the artist. Yeah, the other guy's Matt. <laughs> yeah. 
Love this month's pin. Oh, hey, Mary Kay. Oh, hey. I got a cool pin shipped over from the States. Chemical chemical structure of psilocybin like the psilocybin like the, like psilocybin mushroom. Like the yeah. mushroom. Cool. And cute little mushrooms around it. Darling. Psilocybin. Psilocybin. I think we need a bigger board. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh. The struggle is real. We got a bigger board. Wow, yeah. Ha has a 2020 pin been thought of? Like a fairy with a wall of toilet paper. No, oh. no, Angela. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try Angela, to forget you get, 2020 you get the, as no. soon as it's over. I just got Ring Fit Adventure. Have you tried it? Yes. Matt has. I love it. Yeah. It's Matt, fantastic. Matt, Matt's got it. It's it, wonderful. It looks like it's a lot of fun. It is wonderful. I'm impressed that it actually looks like you're having a workout when you're doing it. Well, I was thinking... um, uh. You should put I, I, I do my workout, and then Jasmine does her workout. Yeah. And I was thinking, well, I do my workout upstairs, and then when Jasmine's doing her workout, I'll come out and also do downstairs do, and do a ring fit. Do the ring fit downstairs adventure when I'm out, up in the um, gym. Workout as well. Yeah. So just stack them. Sure. As long as you're, I can have the gym in the morning. Yeah. Whoa, it is getting windy out. Sometimes we hide kombucha up in the gym. Yeah. It's because we have a small refrigerator up there, and we run out of. Hey, sometimes I'll look at it. I'm like, dang, there's there's more than I thought up here. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Like, That's, I, like, I love that fridge up there by the like a Nordic fruit smoothie track. in there like, or something. Yeah, I know. I'll have good stuff in there. What are the bubble things I keep getting? The bubble things. Ta I don't know. Are you fine? Are like in your what sort of workouts or does what is it? <laughs> Jasmine? Um, yeah. Uh, what sort of workout are you currently doing? Kitia wants oh, to what I've been doing currently is a combination of the Nordic track, using it on the step function, and then the leg press, free weights, and circuit training on our G2 machine. We have a, a Nordic track elliptical. E yes, I have a Nordic track elliptical, and I use it usually on the stepping function. And it's cool. I love it. And then just hand weights and on... Our G, our what's the company that makes the G two machine? I love that thing. Uh, I life sometimes. lifestyle fitness. Lifestyle fitness. Um, yeah. So That's Mary Kay's asking, machine. how do I change yeah. my mail mailing address for my Patreon account? Literally Google basically what you just said. <laughs> yeah. And you'll find the tutorial the, for that. The, Mary there's Kay. a tutorial because whenever yeah. anyone asks me that. Like, I just Googled the tutorial. It's not like I... When you're on the other side of pa Patreon, like, cause since Jasmine has... you, It's not like you It's you run the site. No, So you, we really don't Patreon know how it works. It, right, we really yeah. don't know how it works more yeah. than any, anyone else. So just Google those, uh, yep. and I'll have, like, or a, go to the a quick little tutorial. Help, help It'll be super desk. easy. Yep. If you go to Patreon and click help, type change my address, and it will right. show you step-by-step -step how to do it. If we try to show you step by step, it might look different on your monitor, might be different on your phone, you might have a different browser, you know, all that sort of thing. So if you do it, if you just Google it, it will show you what you need to see. And it's super easy to do. Yep. So just, just do that up there. And if you have any specific, like, order questions or anything, just email Matt at strangeling.com. Yeah. It's kind of, it kind of bore everyone else if we... If we, <laughs> we yeah. just talked about order. Uh, Mimi says, if Jasmine is up for the challenge, I still think a chariot's pin would, would be very I pretty. I agree. Um, I agree. Two-piece or rectangular portrait set. I very much agree. I might end up trying that with um, one of the flat sort of enamel, finish, or the, the flat offset type, the metal smooth type pins, as opposed to the... Um, the soft enamel with the thick me black metal that I usually do with outlines, just because of the level of detail, I'd want it to not get lost if it shrunk down that small. But yeah, that's something I've definitely been thinking about. Because and somebody had mentioned light up pins, and I, I've been looking at that also. I'm, the only thing is, I'm I worry that like if a battery goes out and then it, like after a year, and some people trade pins and some people like sell them for hundreds of dollars and stuff, I, I would worry that it would have a a limited shelf life, if that makes sense. So Angela says, is Jasmine eventually going to do all faces of Harry as a pin set? Probably 
Actually, not all of them. In fact, some of them I think I don't even have scans of. You don't. But um, but uh, I, I'll probably do a bunch of them. I also want to do some of the tiny treasures as the little um, metal square pins too. Because I've kept scans of a lot of those, and they're too small to do prints of, but I think they would be cute as those little square metal pins. And that'd be a great way that people could have them. We got 20 minutes to the raffle. Oh, and the final raffle will be yep. the, um, the spitting prize wheel. Woohoo! And I will preview that. This is not the um, this, this is not, not the what prize. you. This is but what it would look like. In theory, it would look like this, and you you could win this cool prize. I don't know what it's gonna be. So it's very random. There is a one percent chance you could win an original painting. Oh wow! Oh my! Yeah, I almost That's got to. We won an original painting. A, oh. The sign print of the week. Oh, that would have okay. been the same as the. That would have been the same as the first, first hour. Prize, yeah. So, and I'm surprised that one hasn't come up more. Me too. I don't know. No, I don't know. They're like two canvases in a row. Yeah, big ones. Yeah. We got. Uh. I'm still hoping for the final pick to for the um complete the seven deadly sins me too man <laughs> yeah get on that heather <laughs> <laughs> glow in the dark would work better than light up than a light up yeah yeah and I, i've done quite a few glow in the dark ones but I was just well i think what tammy was asking is like some sort of like maybe even like it has a little button like yeah super crazy i mean like i, I was thinking like the ones that disney do and they'll have christmas ones that have they that almost would, look like little leds that are stuck in there that would probably be i i mean it would be complicated to make because i would have to use a different factory to make the lights and stuff and price wise i don't know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well we, 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 that's the you, that's the, the month we went bankrupt and it's like yeah. uh, i don't want to get a million emails because some wire came loose <laughs> no and i end up making like 45 cents total and it's like why did i do this to myself is Jasmine going to do any more miniature originals? Yes. I I have, I've actually started in on, there'll be quite a few that will be available at my show in Los Angeles at some point next year at the Corey Helford Gallery. I, there's going to be a bunch of miniatures, kind of like how we did last time, which is important because we're going to do pins. So like people can get a pin if they get that. Anyway, we'll more talk about that like next year, whatever. But I will be doing some mini originals that we will be putting up in the Patreon exclusive section at strangeling.com. So another reason to join the Patreon if you haven't um, yet. I will be working on some mini paintings. Might be doing it on the Patreon paint cam stream, like during a week. During a week. Gotcha. Day. And if that's the case, I'll tell y'all like heads up what time, what day. But you want to be on Patreon, so otherwise you won't see it. Let's see, prizes that we have on the spinning yeah, wheel. I, yeah. Uh, we have, uh, I think, the portrait, the middle, mini metal portrait pin sets one through four. You have one of each? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, we have an original painting. We have a we 10 by 10 canvas. One, right? uh, well, uh, I mean, you'd have to make it 10 by yeah. 10 canvas and uh, a 60 by 20 canvas, but I'll go up to 18 by 24 if it's better for that Depending image. Depending what size. Um, yeah. Then we have uh forever strange book we have a halloween coloring book we have a mystery pin uh set and oh, print so of the we week and time. or alice oracle deck oh cool so we have lots of things and the ones that when it's like a 10 by 10 canvas they like get to pick which one right yep okay. i just sent out um i just sent out that one like two days ago or something oh when the somebody won here before yeah which one did they end up choosing the, uh uh, the oh, faces of fairy 164 the one with the cute little oh, baby the sea, sea turtle. turtle yes yep. yes okay oh bye buddy bye buddy always good to see you so lots of Enjoy. lots of uh cool prizes the prize wheel is uh oh it's pretty amazing i like it i can change it too i can add more i could add less i could, like add could yeah stuff. we should put one of those tinker balls on there we can talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can just Don't... be surprised. No. <laughs> Very cool prizes. You and Jasmine are always uh, uh, awesome as always doing this. Aww. Well, I thought, I remember how we used to uh, have prizes last time, and I thought uh -huh. this would be a more cool way. Yeah. Because I basically, I looked at some of the uh, items that we had available for prizes, 
and thought, hey, it would always be cool to have the print of the week as a price. Yeah. And it would also be well, cool to have the 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 pin of the month as a prize. Yeah. But also too, why not have even cooler, like way cool prizes on the spinning wheel? Yeah. Also, too, we've been trying to make stuff like that um, a little better, more fun, more worthwhile because we haven't been able to come out to conventions or like do live shows at galleries or anything like that. So it's important to us that we're doing fun stuff and actually engaging with people online. Yep. It feels so weird not having been anywhere for so long. Yeah. Hey, um, this is cool news for locals. And um, Jasmine, I just saw it the other day. Uh, the Bill and, the new Bill and Ted movie is coming to our local drive-in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Good I'm ends. excited to see that. We love our drive-in, so. Yes. Well, that's the first time I think they've gotten a new movie for a while isn't oh, abigail it? says i miss people oh i miss soylent green <laughs> it's weird to look up of the name of someone you're related to to see famous birthdays as one of your one of the results <laughs> <laughs> did somebody is my birthday on a list of famous people <laughs> i i maybe so oh, that's I, I, funny that's that is funny oh that is cool i watched the new bill and ted movie oh silly funny cool yeah i uh Charlotte said, yeah. That's cool. I wonder if they have the birthday right. I don't know. I remember I was on a list of famous people born in the UK once, and I was like, I was born in Kansas. Jasmine, love your work, and this is my first Twitch oh. view. You got you got me to set up an account. Oh, Yay, String Bean. Are yeah, you uh, following yeah. us? Is the, Faces of, is the Faces of Fairy series finished, or will be, there be more? Haven't seen any in a while. You know, I, I kind of stopped doing them when we changed the sizes of um, our canvases and I started doing larger canvases because all of the faces of fairy up to that point had been like little six by sixes and we were making them bigger. So I hadn't really done that and I started doing the tiny treasures instead, which are super little, like about three inches by three inches. So it's something I might revisit in the future, but... Since I'm working on so many projects, like both commercial stuff and like for my upcoming show, I don't know how much I would do specifically studies that are that small. But it might be something I do just for fun sometimes. So Jasmine, yeah, um, Charlotte and Abigail in the room, they said it says you were born in City, USA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're both trying to sell, tell the same story and... Um, <laughs> Ab Abigail says, Charlotte's still in my stories. <laughs> and then she says, shush. These guys, these are sisters, yeah. by the way. Yeah, these are my nieces and they are sisters. Actually cousins, but well, nieces they're, is close they're enough. they're my cousins' children. <laughs> it's just easier to they're say They're my aunt. friends. Yeah, they're, they're my cousins, so whatever they are. <laughs> We're the cool ones, like yeah. I said. Yeah, they're the cool ones. Yikes, about to go through the Baltimore Tunnel. Be careful, Bubba. Ah. Oh my gosh. I was scared of the Baltimore Tunnel because I thought that whales might be Matt thought me. whales would be above him. That was before you ever went on the, with me on the channel, like, or the Eurostar, yeah? That was the first time. Yeah, I think so. That you would have gone underwater, underwater. Although you would have been technically, like, you'd been under the tube by then hadn't you or wait had you not been was that before we visited annie in, in, out in london we hadn't been in the channel but no but we'd no we, across, we'd, I, I, we'd been I, under the we i had been to stuff. i had been to uh by that time we had been to london yeah so you'd been under the thames and stuff but you hadn't been under an ocean i didn't really think about it or, yeah because if you like go to i mean water Loose station. I mean, you get if you're coming from our house, you you go under the Thames to get to it. So, um, Abby thinks that they're going to take over the chat room. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, I'm out. You go. You guys go ahead and take it. Go. For I'll, I'll it. see you later. Yes, it's on you. I'm walking down some stairs. <laughs> I'm closing the door. I'm coming through the window. Oh, Have man. a good chat. Thank you. This is 
turning out cute. I don't know, like I said, what colors still I'm gonna do, but we'll see if I can zoom out a bit. Wait, is this not working? Is it I think frozen it's not again? again maybe. I better get back in the chat because I don't think that I don't think that Abby can, can help with that one. Abby broke my camera. No. Is it working? Wonder Twin Powers activate. Form of a form of a dragon? ice bucket. I think I zoomed in too much. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I zoomed in way too much. Okay. Cool. I'm just happy that you can do that. That's yeah, so me neat. Too. That's like one of my favorite things about this. Ah. Yeah, eventually it's going to zoom out of the planet there, Jasmine. <laughs> I was going to say. It's like time bandits. I mean, I can't. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that does not exactly help, man. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> that does not help. All right. Allura. Oh, Allura is a great pin. She's actually one of my favorite ones I think I've done this year. That was, um, and she, she was super sparkly, Maddie. You like her, huh? She had green. She had, I think, th two or three types of sparkly on her. Uh, she's beautiful. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, and, and it was like, a, it was not the best time in the world, and we just kind of rewarded everyone with a print. Remember that month? I remember, month? yes. That's... I was like, let's get them a print, Jasmine. I just want them, I just want these, it was like, what? because... <sighs> Things were so late in the mail, and that's when. Oh, oh man, that's gosh, right when the um, coronavirus was starting. Yes. Oh my gosh. It would be cool if there was a chat where we could talk to you guys, like a voice chat. I think that's called a phone. Do you remember that, Charlotte? Phone. I have a phone, <laughs> but. <laughs> or Zoom. Maybe we'll Zoom with Bradley sometime. Oh yeah. God, I haven't like. I've, I've talked to my cousins and stuff like on the computer, but I haven't talked to so much family for a while. FaceTime is awesome, says Angela. It just, I hate the name. You can do some FaceTime. It's like it sounds offensive. Well, you know, it's a, that's a phrase. That's a phrase other than, than before that. That's like if you had to put in some FaceTime somebody. Like if you're if you're gonna have a meeting with somebody, or you've got you're a congressman, you've got to go put in some FaceTime. That sounds like a chore. It is. It's meant to be dismissive. But it's basically like saying yeah. it's chores the app. Yeah, ex yes, exactly. <laughs> I, uh, FaceTime. But no, I FaceTime. FaceTime. I wish it was called FaceTime. I hate FaceTime because, you know, those earphones it I have, sounds baby. rather... How does it... It doesn't sound like... Unless you're talking about something else. What? I'm not going to say it out loud. Oh, okay. Okay. You want me to... Guess? No. <laughs> Don't guess. <laughs> I'm trying to find my favorite is somewhere in one of my notebooks. It's a temporary tattoo. Like one of the, one of Jasmine's. Oh, one of my designs? There was for a while, there was like those little. um. I love those. Yeah. Remember they would like be at grocery stores. They were like. Yeah. Uh, um, not our friend machines. Delphin's got a bunch of stickers in those lately. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't oh. know if she has temporary tattoos, but or maybe there's stickers. There's something she's got, cool. but she's yeah, she's uh, she's done a bunch of those recently. I haven't, I Man. sadly I don't even see those machines around much. I know. Well, I haven't been to like a store, but so, but like fans yeah. were telling her, yeah, I saw it here or ah. there, but I don't know if they have much around our town. Yeah. I oh, I asked what um Abby's favorite painting of Jasmine's Aww. was. I don't know. It's different being related to Jasmine, probably in a, in a way. It's probably like, so. You yeah. figured the artwork's just there if you want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lots of my relatives probably don't even really. Oh, know my so artwork. Charlotte, you're Charlotte's an artist too. Yeah, both of them are. are Gee whiz. Like an art. Yeah. It's yellow and black. Is it a bumblebee? Because you'll ha you'll have some friends in here that love bumblebees. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say I've done a few with bumblebees. Yeah, I saw so many bumblebees out. Was it like two days ago in our yard? For real? Yeah, there was a bunch of. Were them. they on the jasmine? They were on the crepe myrtle, the bottle brush tree. They might have been in the jasmine that were climbing up in the crepe myrtle. A fairy that's black and yellow. Gothling number eight. 
It could be. No. Um, so it could be Bumblebee Fairy, Bumblebee Dragon Lady. Gothling number eight, I think, was a temporary tattoo. Yeah, I know. And she was black and yellow and was a fairy. Do you think um, I'm just randomly saying cool numbers? What? Are you going to try to trick me? Let's see. I will put this link in the room, and you tell me if this is it. That one's from a long time. That's, it is old school. That's from before um, they were born, actually. It is. Yeah. I think. Do you yeah. remember when Abigail fell asleep underneath the? the I, I came. We were out in the back. Uh, the parents were in the backyard um, having a, a adult beverages, and I came in, oh. and back then she was Ruthie, and she was just uh, passed out oh. underneath the <laughs> underneath the coffee table, yeah. and it looked like they had had like a more uh, wild time a than more we wild had. Party Toys than were that. everywhere. That they had trashed the living room. Yeah, that was so funny. Yep, that was it. Awesome. But yeah, they look like they had just like partied really hard, <laughs> all passed out. It's like that picture you have from uh, New Year's with Milo. Oh, that's because uh, th they said that was it, and they, that's because they've had it for so long. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It, your little. favorite could be. I'm some of my favorites are super like. You know, I did Genesis. a I did a painting uh, of their. I mean, mom. beginning. I don't Remember, mean, I did a yeah. painting of their mom when she was very young. You did a Jillian. Uh huh. That's cool. A Jillian fairy. It was, a, I, th I had met her like once. Aw. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. I haven't talked to her for a while. Now I'm getting all sentimental. I was going to say, I'm, I'm thinking all my family now. I oh, she still has it hanging up. She loves it. Oh, really? Aww. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. That's from ages Twitch ago. turns into like a mini family reunion. Uh-huh. Might as well. Aw. Hey, keep it, man. Yeah. Might be worth it's, something. It probably How is. I found out about Jasmine was via a sticker of Allura. Too huh. cool. That's ha that's hilarious. It's funny because that was one of the earlier paintings I had that was really popular. And then it's one of it's one of my favorite pins I've done just this year, like 20 years later, you know? Yeah. And it's still a design I like. Allura is, I mean, I think you hit the nail on the head as far as design, what people might want to see on a symmetrical. shirt or a poster. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I still have that tank top from back when they did that for, like, the mountain. Oh, my God, the old teacher company. And they had, like, tank tops of Allura. And I, I still, I have one I wore, like, maybe two weeks ago. So, uh, oh, Jillian was the one who asked if you, sh if you to check it and see if you had a Twitch. Oh, yeah. Jillian yeah, the, um, the creative category is kind of cool on Twitch. Yeah, there's there's people up here who are like sewing and doing all sorts of stuff. There's all. I mean, if you guys want to check out some interesting, the ones where people are like working out. Yeah, exercise I watch those sometimes. Ones. There's people cooking, and crafting, and all yeah, sorts of stuff. It's other things besides video games. Yeah. Um, but I understand that's that's uh, a sport, esports. Yeah. Brandon like. Oh, yeah. It explains he does all that. to me about the esports. Yeah. Came on late today. Can you tell me about the piece you're working on? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, absolutely. Can you tell I, Mary Kay? Yeah, yeah. This is the, um, this is Darling Dragonling 6, which was a painting I had started as a demonstration piece at the Kansas City Renaissance Festival a couple years ago. And I'd packed up because it stopped, it started raining. And then I've just recently found it again and unpacked it from my studio. So. I've just started in um, doing some of the shading because basically it started off earlier. This broadcast is just a sketch. She's just one that I'm going to just sell myself. She's not for a specific show. I'm, I think Matt said we already have a few people lined up who are interested in the original. If, if anybody is, you can email us at matt at strangeling.com. We post that occasionally. And the original will be $2,500. And we have a couple people on the list, but we always take backups. We'll also have uh, the Masterpiece Editions available if anybody's interested in reserving those. This will be $595, 16 by 20, which is about four times as big as the original. He and embellished we'll have five of those. And then we'll have regular prints and paper and regular canvases, a number of things available too. We are like a minute away from the spinning wheel. Oh my gosh, are we? Oh, exciting. Yeah, and, and we're just a few minutes away from our broadcast ending. Oh yeah, um, I, yeah, gosh. Oh, we had another hour. Um, I will be back broadcasting. For those of you who are my Patreon patrons, I'll be at, now that we know how it works well, um, this Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern Time, 1 p.m. in the afternoon Eastern Time, 
this Tuesday. I will be broadcasting on my Patreon paint cam via Crowdcast. So as long as you're a Patreon member, I'll send out a little thingy that says, hey, this is when my Crowdcast is going to start. Reserve your spot. It's completely free. You just click a little thingy and it says reserve my spot. And then you get an alert right before it starts. And that just is like two, it's the two cameras you see here on Twitch. But I don't have the chat room and then we don't have audio turned on because I'm basically it's when I'm working, working here in my studio. That way you can see what I'm doing, you learn more about technique and stuff, but you can't really interact. But it's kind of fun though. Oh, well, that means it's that's time to pick a winner. Oh, okay, cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. I'm going to pick a winner. Here we go. Who is it? Jebs. 57. Jebs, 57. Yeah. Awesome. Let's see. Now what we're going to do is choose a prize on the prize okay. wheel. Here we go. Oh, wait, this way. <laughs> Ooh, what, is what is it? I don't know. What is it? You okay. won a uh, Halloween something. A Halloween something. Halloween coloring book. Halloween Yay! Huzzah! Awesome! It's a Halloween coloring book. It cut it off. Oh. <laughs> I'll fix that. I'll move oh, it up okay. later. Yay! It's a Halloween coloring oh, book. Okay. okay. Congratulations. Actually, it's actually, uh, a good appropriate. Prize. Yeah. And, and it's getting Halloween, and I will autograph it for you, and we'll mail it to you. If yeah. you already have one, give it to your friend or color it again in different colors or try out watercolors. <laughs> All right, that was awesome. And what was the name of the person you won again? I'll say it out loud. Jebs57, and I'm putting Jebs the info 57. in the room right now. Jebs57 is the winner. It's a good coloring book. I think that, I don't know if that one or the Alice one is my favorite. I don't know. Yay! So Jebs saw it. Oh, excellent. Congratulations, Jebs. And we, I, again, you Patreon people will see me after tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Keep an eye on my Patreon for the link and the reminder. You can watch my paint can if you like. And I might even do it a different day this week also. I'm wanting to do it a couple days a week maybe during the day when I'm just painting here at my desk, being quiet and painting. And then next Sunday we'll be back here at Twitch. Yay! And I think that's all. Yay! <laughs> well, thank you all of you. Bye, Again, guys. If you haven't Yay. yet, go join Patreon. Love you. Catch you later. Bye.